I I'm calling her now. She's on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, run for your life, then go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, friend, and of course, welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise swearsies, it's just a fact, and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up. Today, we will be looking at the Denko Saga, translated from 2chan. Hopefully, the title and thumbnail gives you some idea what's it about, so uh, let's just go ahead and jump on into it. My crush won't respond to my emails. Uh, woo. What, what, what face is this? Google says it's an emoticon representing downheartedness. That is so esoteric. <laughs> Help! Part zero. There are uh, six parts in total, and I'll just get going through them until I get tired. The translator VG person says in April of 2012, I unleashed a monster, and now it's time to lay it to rest. Several months back, I went looking through the crazy lunatic tag on the same summary site that the Denko saga was on, hoping to find more 2chan threads along those lines. Instead, I found a lot of stuff that was just downright creepy and not entertaining enough to translate. However, I also found part zero of this saga, a thread posted a week before what was thought to be the first thread. It's awfully short, but uh, here it is. OP, uh, when the earthquake happened earlier in the month, I was worried about her. We'll call her Aiko. So I desperately called her house. Her mother answered, Aiko's out right now. You should call her yourself, Anon. She then told me her phone number and email. I quickly called her about a hundred times. <laughs> Whoa, relax, dude. Take it easy, man. Cool your beans, bro. Uh, yeah, just casually, you know. I sent about 50 emails, too. Finally, I got a reply from Aiko. Oh, so this address is yours, Anon? I'm fine, but why do you know my email? And then I explained the events and accidentally confessed my love to Aiko in the process. Uh, but she hasn't responded since. <laughs> and I'm worried something might have happened to her. Uh, I've sent over 600 emails by now. Is that okay? Weird emoji thing. <laughs> no, it's not okay. The only reason she wanted to know where you got the email from was so she could tell that person, hey, don't give out my email. <laughs> uh, uh, then the two chanters chime in and say, oh my God, you're a total lunatic. I've sent over 600 emails by now, is that okay? Oh, I, I see, so you're a complete and utter stalker. Thank you. 600, not enough. You gotta send at least a thousand or so. You do know you're a stalker, right? If you're that worried, OP, don't send her emails. Go meet her in person. About time you check up on where she lives, eh? <laughs> uh, the Chan boards, no matter what language they're in. It just cultivates a, a certain culture. OP returns to the thread and said, I I've been to her house a bunch of times. <laughs> Uh, I'm worried, so I've been putting letters in her mailbox, weird emoji, since I guess it's common practice here. I'll email whatever's in post 30. What a concerned soul. Well, why don't you try sending another 800 emails? Uh, send, are you okay? 500 times. And then the 30th post is, yep, that sure is a loser with too much time on their hands. OP says, well, I guess I'll send this. <laughs> uh, please don't. I'm sure he did. Two chances pop in again to say, Finn, if only it was that easy to end this thread. OP said, um, she changed her email. Ouch, dude. Over before it even began. Ruffle. <laughs> Just saw this and oh my God. Six freaking hundred? What a nut job. OP, this isn't funny, guys. Just called her house and no one answered. So I left a message on the answering machine for now, weird emoji. I've never liked someone as much as this, so my chest really hurts. Help me. <laughs> you might be beyond help. You might try seeking professional help. And the weird part is he seems completely unaware. 
600 emails, that's okay, right? Message on the answering machine after she changed her email. <laughs> it's not going well. Uh, two chanters say, Check her house. Maybe something happened. <laughs> Maybe you could tell us, OP. What are your emails like? OP says, Aiko and I have been in the same class since primary school, but neither of us has ever really been able to advance things. <laughs> Are we sure that she wants to? We were in different high schools, but we happened to go to the same college, so I feel like it's pretty fateful. <laughs> Are you okay, Aiko? I'm really worried. Please answer me if you're safe. Something like that, weird emoji. Going to the same college in the city in which you presumably both live? That's not fate, okay? <laughs> Please don't read too much into this. People in the thread ask, how about the answering machine message? OP, uh, I said, it's an odd. Is Aiko's mother there? I'm worried your daughter is safe, so please go back as soon as possible. Uh, I was kind of nervous, so I might have said some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what sort of weird stuff? <laughs> Tell me about the weird stuff. OP has an addendum here. Even if her house is close, it would be way too stalkery if I hid waiting for her, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm calling again, but I need you guys to think of a way to ensure I'll get a reply, weird emoji. Please. It sounds like a crisis. Is her house in North Honshu? OP says, it's in the city, with this weird emoji. Any info on OP? Uh, 176 centimeters, 55 kilograms, sort of like a ladies' man face. <laughs> a ladies' man face. <laughs> uh, oh, good. <laughs> it's very specific. <laughs> Final post of the thread. Troll or not, 600 emails is lollable. Yes, lollable to say the least. <laughs> and it's only the beginning. Just a little taste in the prequel. Let's get into part one and see how horrible things can really get. Help! The girl I like won't respond to my emails. Weird emoji part one. Indeed, a tale from 2chan of girls, emails, and hamsters. OP, hey, there's this girl I've had feelings for since high school, and now we're in college together. We'll call her Deadco. Once we hit second year, we went out drinking, and I worked up the courage to exchange numbers. We started out talking often, but she hasn't answered me in three days now. I'm getting depressed, just thinking that Deadco might be sick, or that something happened to her. Weird emoji. Please, someone give me some advice. Are we to assume that Denko is Aiko? Maybe the Anons will have some good advice this time. She doesn't like you! Give it up! <laughs> uh, oh, that did go as expected. Maybe it's just because email's a pain in the butt. <laughs> OP. Oh, well, I called her too in case she was sick or something happened. Weird emoji. Uh, maybe this last email I sent did something to hurt Denko's feelings. Uh, give me your opinion here. Yahoo! <laughs> uh, please don't start with Yahoo. Good weather today. You haven't emailed me or called me, so I'm just sending this since I'm worried. Did I do something bad? P.S. The stars were pretty last night. Oh boy. You got nothing to talk about but the weather. What was in the other 599 emails? <laughs> uh, ramen posting randomly. OP, wh what? This thread isn't about ramen, okay? I'm begging you, I need advice. I haven't slept for an entire day. Just hypothetically, what would you think if you got an email like that from an ugly girl that you don't have any interest in? OP, um, well, I wouldn't like it, but, <laughs> but I've had my eye on Denko since high school, and I don't know how to say it, but I think it might be mutual, weird emoji. You think? 
We don't place bets on I think. <laughs> Actually, that's all betting is. <laughs> Anon comes in with the truth bomb. Pretty sure she just hates you and is too shy to say it. <laughs> uh, all divine OP and his girls love from her birthday. Post OP's birthday too, if possible. OP, my birthday's March 10th, and Denko's is September 7th. Man, now we're calling to the whole cavalry. The Zoroastrians are here to help. <laughs> uh, Random poster says, Well, to be perfectly honest, your emails sound incredibly shifty. Uh, that's why everyone's talking about ramen instead. <laughs> <laughs> OP, sorry, I haven't had much experience talking to girls, weird emoji. Well, this is an incredibly terrible way to gain any sort of experience. Poster says, so, you got responses before. What kind of emails are you sending? It could be, you know, interesting, <laughs> OP. At first, we just talked about how strange it was that we only started emailing in college, despite being in the same year of high school. What I'm sending, well, I'm worried about her lack of reply, so I sent her around 600 emails. <laughs> They're mostly reports on my current mental state, I guess. Weird emoji. I cannot stress enough how important therapy is for basically everybody. Some people a lot more than others, and right now you're looking at that case study. I will say he could probably benefit from some brutal honesty at this time, but that's not really a thing that uh, the Japanese are known for culturally. <laughs> uh, sending 600 emails out of worry from the lack of response? How spammy can you get? Hey, don't make fun of me, okay? I don't have any friends, so you're the only people I can ask about this. And here's another emoji that looks like it's screaming in horror. <laughs> uh, sort of sums up my feelings on the situation. Maybe add some tears, because I do feel bad for the guy. He's just lacking some experience, and he also doesn't want to put himself out there enough to get any. OP says, 600 emails and still no reply, so I'm really thinking something might have happened, weird emoji. <laughs> and I really don't think they're anything that would displease her. They're like this, I'm drinking jasmine tea right now, thinking about what to have for dinner. Maybe they're a bit too incidental. Yeah, dude, open up a, a Instagram or something. What sort of response is she even supposed to have like that? Oh, cool. I like Jasmine tea too. It's a nothing conversation. It's a waste of her time and yours, except to uphold your exceedingly fragile ego. Anon's popping again saying, <laughs> troll sighted. And if you're not, <laughs> give it up. Knows he doesn't have any friends, oozes human filth right down to his emoticons, and sending 600 emails in three days is stalker level creepy. Well, I guess he is getting some brutal honesty. <laughs> OP, all right, all right. Maybe people think I'm creepy, but even so, I'm really honestly in love with this girl. You understand, right? I'll try not to be as creepy about it from now on, oh. <laughs> so please, give me advice on how to get Denko to respond. You're not gonna get any of that sort of advice here. Leave Denko alone. This is an intervention, OP. Your friends here on 2chan, we just wanna get you some help. <laughs> you seriously sent 600 emails in three days, lol. Uh, well. I think it was only around 50 the first two days, uh, weird emoji. <laughs> uh, okay, but like, why wouldn't she respond if she wasn't dumping you or whatever? If something happened, maybe her power like went out or something. Try calling her up. It should at least get her attention, right? OP. All right, I'll try calling her. <laughs> Don't do this. Uh, but I'm awful at talking, so give me something to talk about. Not the weather, nothing sexual. Seen any good movies lately? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and of course, Anon pops back in to say, Hey, I want to see what your conversations were like when you get replies. OP, me? Uh, what do you do for fun? What do you listen to? I like watching lots of movies and reading lots of books, I guess. Uh, whoa. Denko, uh, I don't know. You sure use a lot of emoticons, huh? 
That sort of thing. <laughs> uh, she's not into it from the jump. <laughs> this is so sad. Uh, lol. Wow, she did cut things short. Did it ever go on any longer than that? OP. Uh, me. Do girls do the thing where they turn socks inside out to use them for a week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you nasty. Uh, <laughs> it has to be a troll, dude. Denko? No, that's too dirty. I usually wash them after like a day. OP? Well, Denko's socks can't possibly be dirty. Unlike mine, weird emoji. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Denko? Do you really wear the same socks for a week? OP? Nah, I heard about that from a friend. Of which he has none, so... <laughs> uh, oh my god. It was just like that. I I'm calling her now. She's on! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, Run for your life, then go! <laughs> uh, seriously, she can't move house fast enough. OP says, oh god, I was so nervous. I panicked and hung up on her, crying emoji. She knows it's you, OP. She, <laughs> you should have said anything because she already knows it's you. Mm, how about the cherry blossoms, OP? Invite her to go see the cherry blossoms. OP, okay, I'll do that. I'm too tense to use the phone right now, so uh, I'll send her an email. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never been so nervous about talking to somebody. Ah, uh, weird emoji. You're gonna have to get over this at some point in your life, okay? You're gonna have to use your voice to interact with other human beings, at least until they all shove us into the pods and make us eat bugs, right? Anon says, Oh, for the love of... Apologize for hanging up. This will be your last chance. <laughs> Somebody in here knows what they're talking about. They're really trying to guide him towards the light, but he is determined to fail. <laughs> OP. Oh, do you really want me to call her again? I sent an email saying I knew I shouldn't have hung up, and my heart just wasn't ready. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, this is, this is painful, dude. Poor Denko. <laughs> uh, God damn it. I've never seen such a revolting sack of crap. I've got a good idea of why you can't get Denko or any friends, period. I'm guessing that you've been bullied all your life. Oh, come on, Anon. Let, let's not make this into an ugly thing. It was almost blossoming into something beautiful. Everybody coming together to try and help him out. Don't kick him while he's down. OP says, I, I was bullied in grade school, but I I've been fine since college. Hey, you're not. That emoji you do is starting to piss me off. <laughs> this should go down as one of the most terrifying incidents to occur on 2chan. All right, here you go, OP. Say, what classes are you taking? And then say, I'm bored. Can we go see the cherry blossoms at night? OP, oh, you must be popular, huh? Weird emoji. Okay, I'm gonna try calling again with that. My armpits are sweating real bad, though. <laughs> wow! Okay! Uh, it's over the phone, she's not gonna notice. This is a good way to get some of that experience that you lack. Then OP returns to the thread and says, Yes, yes, yes! What the hell is this, a romance board? Are you really willing to call this romance? <laughs> uh, I had a stalker once too, but it's even scarier to think that he had the same thought process as, as this guy. 600 emails? You gotta be trolling. Please tell me that this is a troll. Can't really speak on that one way or another, Anon. Seems pretty legit to me. OP says, I, I talked with Denko, and I invited her to see the cherry blossoms. Apparently her schedule was packed at work, so she said some other time. Oh well, still good news. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> I gotta buy some clothes now. Uh, weird emoji, hurry, hurry. I accidentally told her about how I was sweating really bad. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh god damn it. 
Uh, you had the script in front of you. <laughs> Why did you go off script? Uh, and she said she was sorry. She was too busy to reply to my emails. Weird emoji. For now, I'm glad Denko is safe. I was worried what might happen since I'm so bad at talking to girls. But I managed, I guess. Yeah, just just barely, didn't you? <laughs> uh, why the sweaty armpits? And just to be clear, this is a no. In Japan, if you're if you're given anything other than a hard, firm yes, then it's a no. They just don't want to say no. I seen it. I lived it for four years. <laughs> uh, a daughter turns to the thread and says, "Oh God, you're serious." <laughs> She said some other time, she said some other time, she said some other time! Dude, why are you going clothes shopping if you got rejected? There is such a thing as being too optimistic. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. Uh, it's sad. Any interaction at all and he just flies off the handle. Another Anon chimes in. Psst, OP! Some other time means never talk to me again, you creep. Okay, she hates you, no doubt. Oh, OP, if this isn't a troll, please give this up now. <laughs> uh, OP, are you guys trying to trick me since I don't have much experience with girls? I'm wondering when I should send another email, weird emoji. <laughs> No! God, please, no! 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 Uh, just, I, it's gotta be a troll. So many people have called it out as such. My suspension of disbelief now completely snapped. Surely you know by now to not send another email, right? Surely! Anon asking more pertinent questions, saying, What were your meetings with Denko like? What made you fall for her? OP, Denko helped me out when I was being badly bullied in high school. Denko's smart and kind, so she was like everyone's role model. When I sat next to her in class, I often borrowed her notebooks and erasers, and we became friends. We made eye contact a lot in class, too. Weird emoji. Dude, oh, <laughs> dude. Uh, did you ever actually talk? Or you just borrowed things and looked at each other? <laughs> uh, well, she's probably looking because you were looking, creep. Absolutely despicable. After 600 emails, even if she did like you before, you ruined it. OP, I sent 600 emails because there was a chance something happened and I was worried. <laughs> I'm telling the truth here, okay? Anyway, a reply. I'm kind of scared to read it, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, trust me, OP. We're all scared. <laughs> uh, Adon says, dude, you're hopeless. Find out where she lives and her workplace. Girls love overbearing go-getter guys. OP, do this if you can. Follow her to her work and her house and her classes every single day. <laughs> OP, then she's being a stalker, weird emoji. I don't want Denko to hate me, weird emoji. I don't want Denko to hate me. I don't want Denko to hate me. I don't want Denko to hate me. I know I would hate you. Okay, serious post here. If you don't get a reply after three times, stop. If she's making excuses about work and busyness, then she really doesn't like you. She's only not saying it because she thinks that that would hurt your feelings. Denko getting 600 emails from a guy who isn't even her boyfriend is no doubt going to scare her. But she's probably a nice girl if she isn't admitting to that. There are people out there who just can't be blunt. So stop it, please. Just facts. OP's really out here trying to coerce this girl into a relationship. If I just harass her enough, eventually she'll say yes. I know, 2chan can tell me what to say. <laughs> Jesus, man. Uh, even from a boyfriend, 600 emails in three days is scary. Hmm, well, giving girls small animals as presents makes them most happy. Hmm, stuff 30 hamsters in a box and send them to her house. And she'll... <laughs> 
<laughs> and she'll be so surprised that she'll fall for OP in a flash. So yeah, I think a 30 hamster present would be good. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's going to do it, you maniac. Girls also love to get clothes. The, the price of the clothes and their attraction to you are directly proportional. So now the, the threat has just been hijacked by trolls, essentially. <laughs> and he's going to do everything that these trolls tell him to do. I'm feeling worse and worse for this guy by the moment. OP. Uh, oh, geez. I don't think I could afford that. Anyway, we're making plans for four of us to get together. I'm so grateful and so tense. Oh, my God. <laughs> what clothes do you own, OP? Uh, plain shirts that I wore in high school and some denim shorts my mom got me at Yokado. Also, I wear sweat jackets a lot. I wonder if I can get clothes in Harajuku. Weird emoji. Yeah, that is where most of the cool people hang out. Very fashion forward, that place. But it feels like you're trying to be something that you're not, OP. You've been honest with yourself thus far, and I'd be really sad to see you stop being honest with yourself, you know? Trolling on comes back in and says, OP's a super cool guy. His girl's just shy. It's true love, man. <laughs> stop it. Uh, OP, the contents of her reply. I'm not really sure what to say, but sorry I was too busy to reply to your email. My schedule's probably too packed to see the cherry blossoms this year, crying emoticon. Oh, also, I saw your brother on TV again. He's a former actor. My friend says she wants to go drinking with your brother, me, and you, so what do you think? Damn, Denko taking one for the team right now. <laughs> Most unfortunate. Anon says, I was wondering this whole time why Denko didn't just reject OP, but now I think I know. <laughs> yep, the plot definitely thickening. OP, it looks like we're going drinking tomorrow. <laughs> Gotta buy clothes now, weird emoji. Would a suit and a necktie be safe? Yeah, Colombian necktie maybe. No, that's mean, don't say that. <laughs> uh, didn't she say she was busy? Don't you find that weird that she's suddenly good for tomorrow? I don't think he cares, Anon. <laughs> I think he's just happy to get the date, even if it's really obvious why she's going on the date. OP said, well, she's free in the evenings and cherry blossoms would be in the day, so it's possible. Do you think I should bring a present? Tell me what would make girls happy, weird emoji. Oh God. <laughs> uh, is the hamster box guy still in the thread? I bet he's still in the thread. <laughs> no, no presents. If you bring a present every time, Denko will just think OP's her personal ATM. Don't do it for the future of OP and Denko both. Some of these nons really spitting facts though. <laughs> OP, I see. So not even a picture of a small animal, weird emoji. Kodaka's open, so I'm gonna go buy a striped suit. Striped? You want to look like Beetlejuice on your fucking date, man? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Anon says, A picture? Don't be silly. Feeling the warmth of a little creature makes a woman's heart tremble. By hamsters. Yep, hamster box guy's still in here. <laughs> Nothing but hamsters. And then stuff them in a box, of course. I'm so glad OP's not responding to the hamster guy. <laughs> Maybe he does know better. Uh, OP, I went to email my brother about trying to be free tomorrow night, but he changed his address and number, weird emoji. I'm asking my mom about it now. Did you send your brother 600 emails? Is that why he changed his address? Hey, OP, girls love sweet things too, so once you've got your hamsters packed into a box, sprinkle the hamsters with about 10 kilograms of sugar until they're hidden. Girl, <laughs> girl opens the box and can see nothing but sugar. Hamster leaps out from sugar. <laughs> Uh, girl is surprised, but hamsters are cute. Heart, OP is so clever. Love, heart, got it? Get to it, OP. <laughs> uh, eventually, uh, enough people are gonna get on the hamster trade. OP will have to take notice eventually. Another Anon says, you know, 
Reading this thread reminds me that there are people like this, and it reassures me that I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Uh, that's what it's all about, isn't it? OP says, well, I emailed Deadco saying I wasn't able to get a hold of my brother. Nothing to really report while I'm waiting for her reply, weird emoji. Also, you guys calling me creepy and hopeless are really making me lose confidence, weird emoji. I mean, I do believe that he's creepy, but I don't believe that he's hopeless. Anon says, whatever, implying you had confidence before, <laughs> OP. There's still no reply, so I'm gonna send another one. Post 400 decides the title. <laughs> oh, goody. Actually, you'll probably say something weird, so never mind. It's nothing weirder than what you do, OP. Oh, also weird emoji. <laughs> uh, you're being a pest if you send more than three emails without a reply. Also, you should learn how to have a proper conversation. Stop trying to push yourself and just listen to her more. Ain't that the truth? With anybody, really. Just let people talk about themselves. OP says, What should I ask? I've never talked with girls. I don't know what I should talk about, weird emoji. The same thing that you talk about with boys, I guess. And if she doesn't vibe with that, then guess what? She's probably not the one for you. That's okay. She doesn't have to participate in the thing, but she does have to at least be, like, receptive and listen. And of course, that's a two-way street. Duh. <laughs> Anon says, Dude, you've got a completely wrong idea of what listen means. Listening is not questioning. What he was trying to say is that you shouldn't talk about yourself, but just listen to what she says. Also, I said it before, but just be mature and wait if there's no reply. Patience, man. That's right. Nobody owes you their time or attention. OP says, well, I told Deadco to email me when she has the time. Also, I invited her to have just the three of us go if my brother can't come. Weird emoji. Yeah, that sounds awful. I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> uh, uh, his brother is definitely looking like the real target here. OP, reading these responses again, I realize it's like 70% abuse and 30% ramen. I knew I was getting teased for not having any romantic experience, but I didn't quite realize it was that bad. It's a bit of a shock, weird emoji. I mean, you could see it as abuse, you could spin it that way. I see it as tough love, encouragement to get better. But OP's not ready to take a look in the mirror. He's not ready to have hard conversations with himself or another. And until you get over that hill, man, the future's looking bleak. Trolling on returns to the thread. Screw you guys! OP's persistence should be commended. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, sending massive amounts of emails out of worry? Buying clothes to improve his appearance? I say try even harder. Send a thousand emails a day. Girls love men who worry about them. True. But also, n not obsessively, is the caveat. <laughs> OP. Oh, a serious reply at last. <laughs> Weird emoji. Uh, you know just how to play into this guy's ego. It's working. Now compliment him and say something about hamsters. No, don't do that. I wasn't recommending that before. What does this thread turn me into? <laughs> Uh, OP says, yeah, I'll, I'll try my hardest. Thanks for the uplifting comments. I just emailed Deadco about what kind of clothes she likes men to wear. Uh-oh, I wonder if she'll figure out I like her. I mean, probably not until you start dressing in the way that she described. That's so weird. You're so transparent and it's paining me deep down. Another Anon says, you must really be an Aspie if you thought that was serious. <laughs> yeah, it's cold-blooded. OP says, uh, Oh, since you guys call me creepy and scary, I'm wondering if I should send an email asking if I'm scary, weird emoji. Do people send emails like that? Yeah, mostly people that are creepy and scary. <laughs> Anon says, I guess, maybe. If you don't at least ask, you might not be able to face each other. Give it a shot. Not sure if trolling are actually trying to be helpful. <laughs> OP says, I sent it. <laughs> Can't wait for the reply, weird emoji. Let's think about this sensibly. If I heard an email alert going off several hundred times a day, 
Yes, I would call the police, OP. Oh, well, I'd be happy if I got that many emails from her, weird emoji. Still no reply. What do I do? I'm getting worried, weird emoji. <laughs> Dude, uh, just chill. Smoke an L, watch your favorite animu, play some video games. Get your mind off of it. You're going down like this deep, dark spiral. What if something happened to her? Nothing happened to her. She just doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> Everyone seems to say I should let her send emails to me and just reply to those. It's really irritating, though. What makes girls happy? What makes girls happy? Yeah, the science is still out on that. <laughs> <laughs> you not emailing her would be great, OP. Hey, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. If you are all so experienced with love, maybe that's why you don't understand how I feel. I mean, it's a Chan board. I'm sure they're not intimately experienced with love. This is just like basic human things. <laughs> Uh, hope he returns to the thread. I got an email from Deadco. Maybe a little scary. <sighs> Only a little is okay, right? I just want to make sure there's no misunderstanding, weird emoji. Dude, what? Stop it. <laughs> uh, a little scary? And she's admitting that to you? It's over. Can you pack it in, please? Uh, well, if you want to clear up a misunderstanding, just send an email. <laughs> uh, you can just say like, oh, sorry to scare you, but don't misunderstand. I just want to be friends, Denko. Keep sending emails like that. You've already sent over 600, so just sending one at this point would make you look insincere. Just send her at least 20, and even that might be too few. <laughs> uh, I don't know why people are going to chat boards for advice ever. OP says, I don't know about sending repeatedly, so I'll just send this once. Sorry to scare you, but don't misunderstand. I just want to be friends, Deadco. Still, thanks. I'm sure it's the same poster replying. Whoa, man. Think about it the other way around. Say you'd gotten 600 emails from Denko, but all of a sudden, there's just this one? Wouldn't you be uneasy? If you don't want to upset Denko, you should probably send more. <laughs> uh, you're evil. You're evil, OP. Uh, what exactly is scaring her, though? I'm doing the best I can, but I don't want to be called scary. Not even maybe a little scary. It's really annoying me, uh, weird emoji. Obsessive people are scary. I've seen it with the channel, too. There's people that had to ghost because they get a bit too involved, don't respect the time and the space that I need to be afforded in order to do the things that I need to do within my own life. Denko's nicer than me. I would have blocked this idiot so fast. <laughs> uh, Anon says, Even if she doesn't want to say it, man, you are scary, OP. Yikes, am I really that bad? It's not like I want to punch people or kill people out of love for Denko, right? <laughs> At least not yet. Uh, please, <laughs> tell me something I can say to make her happy and not leave any misunderstandings. I think the thing that would make her happiest if you just said, Hey, I'm going to leave you alone now. Clearly you're not interested. My door is always open if you find yourself scraping the bottom of the barrel. You know? <laughs> uh, Anon says... How about the new teriyaki burger at McDonald's? <laughs> it's just ramen posting, but with a teriyaki burger. Try to derail the whole thread, OP. Okay, thanks. I just asked, do you know if the new teriyaki burger at McDonald's is good? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but if I can really clear up misunderstanding by emailing Denko stuff like that, then my mood might start to turn around. See, the whole problem here is that your mood depends on what other people are doing. That's not being secure within yourself, sir. OP continues, So many people called me scary that I feel traumatized. But all right, I'll be sure not to make any more aggressive emails. Thanks for the advice. You guys are so experienced. Ha <laughs> ha. No more aggressive. E How about just no more emails? Period. You're done now. It's time to pack it in. 
Anon pops in saying, I don't think this has anything to do with experience. Man, poor Denko. Experienced or not, I can't comprehend how you don't get things that everyone should know. I know where you're coming from, unfortunately. I'm kind of figuring the OPs played a lot of dating sims and such. In those games, you need to take action for your bond to go up, but you can't really go into real life thinking that it works the same way. Ah, oh, you've been poisoned by Honey Pop, huh? <laughs> the plot thickens even more. OP confirms, yes, you hit the bullseye. I really have no clue how to handle three-dimensional women. <laughs> it's so easy to confess in games, but so hard in three dimensions. Uh, now I know that all too well, weird emoji. Well, you can only start from where you're at, and it seems to me like you need some practice. A lot of practice. Denko was good practice. Now we know what not to do. Let's try not to do that in the future, right? We can build on this. We can learn and grow. <laughs> OP. Actually, I'm starting to feel like it might be best for me to wholeheartedly confess to Denko. Is that just me? Weird emoji. Yes, it's just you, but we all love a dumpster fire, so go ahead, do it. Send me the emails, I want to know. <laughs> uh, it's best that this ends soon. Do it and be done with it. Jeez, we told you not to be so forward, uh, but maybe you should be more thoroughly crushed. Yeah, surely that will teach him the lesson that he has refused to learn thus far. <laughs> OP, uh, my hands are shaking at the idea of a confession email. Uh, this might be a tough hurdle to overcome. I'm trying to think about what to write, but other than I love you, I'm drawing a blank, weird emoji. OP then pastes his possible email to the channers. Subject to Denko. Thinking on it now. Our meeting was a cherry blossom blooming in high school. And now it's spring again just the same. Wow. He's a poet, isn't he? <laughs> or really down bad. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure which. Uh, before I met you, Denko, I felt like I was in a cold winter. But in the spring, you put a bud in my heart that would bloom into a great flower. Yeah, this is a lost art, isn't it? Now you just hit people up, you're like, hey, Netflix is chill. You want to suck my dick while I watch Breaking Bad for the sixth time or what? <laughs> uh, hey, you've helped me when I was bullied, haven't you, Denko? Back then, I thought... Why does this girl not have wigs an angel should have? Oh, God. Uh, I suppose you must have left them in your mother's stomach. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, at first it was cheesy, and then it just got really weird. You're implying that Denko's mom's queefing feathers out of her vag? <laughs> Uh, after when we met eyes, I didn't have the courage, and we could never talk to each other, but now I'm different! <laughs> yeah, now I can talk to you through email. Isn't that the relationship you want? Denko! I know you may not want to marry me yet, but please, go out with me! Well, weird emoji. Ew, dude, he's gonna get brushed off so hard. <laughs> Uh, he's not taking any of the advice afforded him. I can't feel bad for this person for that long. And yes, my pity is quickly beginning to wane. 2 Chan says, Yeah, sounds good to me, bro. Perfection! Nothing can be done to improve it! <laughs> this is worse than the love letter I wrote in fifth grade. I don't even... OP, well, well I sent it, weird emoji. <laughs> Uh, good. I'm glad. Normally, I'm very prudent, but today, with all of your encouragement, I've confessed. I don't think anybody was actually encouraging you to confess. And if people were, it's like the, the two people on the board that want to watch the world burn. <laughs> if Denko and I start dating, I hope we can read this thread and laugh about it together. Weird emoji. Never gonna happen. <laughs> also, since I wanted to increase my chances, I added that no matter what happens, I won't give up on her. Oh, God, holy jeez, what in the- Stop! Your chances of dating sit at zero! Jesus, man! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not gonna stop. 
Give him all the good advice in the world. He's still gonna do whatever the hell this is supposed to be. OP then says, I got an email from Denko. <laughs> I'm too scared to open it, Discalder Kissa. I guess now I know why everyone said I was scary. <laughs> this is making me super tense. I'll go wash my face and then look at it calmly, weird emoji. I think I might just have a heart attack. Not to be cruel, but is that the worst way to go at this point? <laughs> Uh, OP then returns after washing his face and says, Um, she said, sure, weird emoji. Is this okay? Really? Uh, I'm so happy I could cry. This is okay, right? I'm so stunned. I need your opinion. One word from this girl and this whole world's spinning out of control. And then she followed it up with, don't email me anymore. <laughs> Uh, good start. Setting healthy boundaries in a relationship. Uh, what's this? And here I thought I knew her feelings. Uh, maybe dating was too sudden. It's hard for me to tell what girls are trying to get at, weird emoji. Is there someone else? Is this the fickle heart of a woman at work? <laughs> Three question marks. <laughs> Uh, what's the intent of this email? Someone interpret it! Weird emoji. I mean, I, I think it's pretty straightforward. She doesn't want you to email her anymore. Maybe, sure, was in reply to the McDonald's teriyaki burger. So don't email me anymore was in reply to the confession. Which means that you're not dating. Yeah, I like that interpretation. Well, let's see. Your emails are freaking me out. You're an annoyance. Please don't send me any more emails. That sounds about right, OP. If I'm understanding the situation right, which you aren't, I asked if we could date, and she replied selfishly to test me as a man. Weird emoji. <laughs> Uh, we're going for the gold in mental gymnastics. But I mean, suddenly asking not to email her is really selfish. Maybe I should wait until her anger has settled. Or should I try to calm her? You are not capable of calming this woman. You're scarcely able to calm yourself. You got a lot of work to do before you're ready for the real world. But of course he's not gonna listen. He'll see my reply and be like, bah, another troll. You're just a hater. It's like, no, dude. I say these things because I care and I want you to get better. But if you don't take the criticism on board, then, then you're just gonna be stuck in a rut forever. Another Anon comes in and says, No! Stop! You're not dating! You asked, let's date! And she replied, Don't email me anymore! OP? Okay. I'll call her then. Uh, call it now. <laughs> Stop it, dude. What? No, dude! Uh, no, but I guess she's talking with someone. Weird emoji. I'll just wait a bit. Oh, God. <laughs> Obviously, she's telling her friends all about her new boyfriend. Bingo. You, sir, know the heart of a woman well. <laughs> uh, no doubt she's waiting for you to call. Try calling back once every minute. I think there are over 600 minutes in a day. Yeah, that'll work out. OP, I'm redialing as fast as I can, weird emoji. <laughs> Dude, stop it. Uh, I'm so creeped out. I can't even imagine being on the receiving end of this. How do you make it stop without guaranteeing that you'll be stabbed to death at the bus stop? Uh, once I get a hold of her, I'll ask if she wants to go to McDonald's to have the teriyaki burger and ask why she's mad, weird emoji. Anything else I should talk to her about? <laughs> she <laughs> uh, she's not going to go with you to McDonald's, dude. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but she's busy for the rest of forever. She's not going to say no because she wants to shoot her shot with the brother. But at a certain point, you gotta you got throw in the towel. Denko, it's not worth hanging on to, okay? OP, uh, no good, She she's still talking, weird emoji. I really feel like she's mad at me all of a sudden. I'll keep calling until she comes on. I'll report what she does, weird emoji, bye! You know, I'm starting to read the help in the title as Denko's screaming. <laughs> 
she she most certainly is uncomfortable with this situation. There's nobody that wouldn't be. And the fact that it never gets through to OP, it never occurs to him, even in the slightest, that this might be a bad idea. I'd love to say it's a troll, but I've seen it. I seen it before. OP comes back into the thread and says, I, I can't get a signal here, weird emoji. Maybe she's gotten wrapped up in some incident. Oh, what to do? Oh my God, dude. Cool out. <laughs> Pretend to be a normal human being for a day. Maybe I'll go to her house. But if we're dating, then it's not stalking, okay? <laughs> weird emoji. I'm so lost. Maybe she's testing to see if I'd come to save her if something happened. <laughs> what the f*** was going through your head? What did you think was going to happen? Uh, she's definitely not doing that. Just file the police report now. This, this ain't getting any better. <laughs> Look at this. We've got a Sherlock Holmes on our hands. Spoilers, Denko's wrapped up in an incident, all right? A stalking incident. OP, make up your minds already, weird emoji. Making me overthink this isn't gonna do any good. I'm gonna get ready so I can leave any time. Don't do it, for God's sake, don't do it! <laughs> He's gonna do it. Uh, okay, okay, I'll go. If she's safe, then it'll be fine. It's about 30 minutes to her house, so I'll take my bicycle. I'll report back. Thanks for the advice. Okay, I just got back. Sorry for the late report, weird emoji. I hurried to Denko's house and rang the doorbell. Then Denko's mother came out and said Denko was out of the house. I introduced myself to her and told her I was going out with Denko, and she said, If you want, you can wait and have some tea until Denko gets back. So then I waited for Denko at her house with her mom, weird emoji. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, this is getting worse and worse. Hi, Denko. I'm holding your mother at gunpoint. Please come home soon. <laughs> uh, we're about two steps away from that exact scenario. OP continues, I spent about 10 hours talking with Denko's mother about Denko in high school and her personality and such, but she didn't come home. <laughs> She's avoiding you. Denko's mother called her cell phone a bunch of times, but she couldn't get through. Late at night, she told me, I'll give you a call when Denko comes home. And so I went home. <laughs> Sorry for the long explanation, weird emoji. Apparently, Denko's out having fun with a friend, so I'm relieved to hear she's okay. Also, Denko's mother was just as nice as her, which surprised me. I guess she takes after her mother, weird emoji. So now I'm waiting for a call about Denko coming home. God, I hope the mother's not complicit in all of this. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm horrified. OP says, it looks like Denko still isn't back. If the thread's still here when she gets back, I'll report in. And then, weird emoji, and then <laughs> the thread hit a thousand posts and closed. This is just some, some classic stalkery shenanigans and you really do hate to see it. It makes me worry about Denko to like no end. But she seems clever. She's keeping herself out of harm's way. There's four more parts of this. I'll probably do two more episodes, you know, two parts each, something like that. But I hope you enjoyed it. This is my last email. Please don't contact me again. I am begging you. <sighs> what does this mean, weird emoji? <laughs> you hire mammal. Hmm? Can you read? Help! I can't contact my girlfriend! Weird emoji, part number two. Maybe it's for the best, friend. Maybe it's for the best. OP says, I don't have any romantic experience, so I'm not too sure. But this girl I just started dating yesterday emailed me, saying not to email her. Yeah, he sent 600 emails, <laughs> if you didn't know. And now I can't get a hold of her. What do you think it could be, weird emoji? Was there an incident? Is she cheating? Did she have an accident? Is she testing me? Like I said, I'm not experienced, so please give me advice. My advice to you is to wait it out. <laughs> it's fine. She said don't email, maybe try not emailing. 2chan says, with the weird emoji, are you sure that you were dating to begin with? 
Oh, he says, no, we're definitely dating weird emoji. <laughs> I've been in the same class as her since high school, and we went to the same college and became friends over email. And just yesterday, we started dating weird emoji. I've never been on a date with a girl before, so uh, I'm not sure what to think. This is quite a downward spiral, is it not? <laughs> uh, just because you interact, it doesn't necessarily mean you're friends, you know? Posters respond saying, first things first, shoot her some emails. About 600 should be good. <laughs> Do not email her. Uh, I'm just wondering, is this girlfriend little more than a figment of your imagination? OP says, well, I confessed to her and she said, sure. But right afterwards, she said not to email her. Even I don't fully understand the situation, weird emoji. I know you don't, OP. I know you don't. <laughs> uh, 2 Chan Poster says, Going off of these other replies, yeah, you're a stalker. She only unwillingly said yes because she was terrified of you. Laying it down quite flat, but OP ain't gonna listen. He says, I've only sent 70 emails so far. Yeah, dude, 530 to go. <laughs> I had plans to call yesterday, so I'm just so confused, weird emoji. Maybe I should call her house. Maybe you should take a couple lewds and chill out, man. <laughs> I didn't even won't. Two champ posters say, um, 70 emails in a day from some day I don't like would bring me gross sobbing. Wait, are you the 600 email guy from yesterday? Didn't she say she was busy with work? Go ask her work about it. Um, can somebody please explain what happened yesterday? After the part where he didn't know his brother's contact info? Sure, bro. Here's a recap. OP emailed Denko a ton. She didn't reply. He confessed his love. Right after, Denko replied, sure. But it was apparently a reply from before the confession and afterward he got an email saying don't email me anymore. And yet, in the OP's mind, Denko is already his girlfriend. Oh, I like the recap. That's very handy. <laughs> Wait, are you for real? If I was Denko, I would be horrified and depressed. I'm sure she is. Another poster says, who has the time to reply to that many emails? Think about her feelings, you <laughs> uh, weird emoji. What's this guy even talking about? Denko is crying her eyes out. We all are. We all are. OP finally returns to the thread saying, Other than being a virgin, I'm a relatively ordinary guy. Weird emoji. Is there any way to force her into getting in contact with me? <laughs> Uh, those sentences back to back. I'm a relatively ordinary guy, but I also want to force her to contact me. This is the duality of man, is it not? <laughs> I went to her house once and talked with her mother, and she said she'd call once Denko came home. But I'm uneasy, since it seems like she still isn't home. 2chan poster wants to remind OP, Ordinary guys don't send 600 emails in three days when there's no reply. What are you, a dummy or something? I should cauliflower your ear. Okay, he didn't say the last part. <laughs> OP says, I, I've just been thinking about that, okay? I realized it was a bit excessive after you all told me so. Weird emoji. I, I've sent 70 emails so far, but there's just one every 10 minutes, so I think I'm good. Weird emoji. I'm waiting at a cafe near her house to see if she passes by, but I haven't seen her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, well, can we wind this back in some way? New information has come to light that I'm even more terrified than before. It's in front of the station that goes to school, so she must take this route. I just want to know the truth in this unclear situation. I like her so much, but I feel like I've been betrayed. Weird emoji. She is terrified, OP. She's got nothing but OPSEC on her mind. She is going to change the route that she takes to school. You have your answer. It was don't email me. And he sent 70 more. <laughs> uh, what a maniac. Uh, here the love letter gets reposted and someone requests the previous thread be summarized. Again. So it is. Uh, another poster says, This just makes me feel terrible, man. I feel so sorry for that girl. 
I don't think she said sure to the confession. Who would say sure to that? OP butts in again. Come on, guys. Stop calling me creepy. I know you like to joke around, but I'm heartbroken here, so I'm taking it seriously, weird emoji. Yeah, joking around. That's what we do on the chance, isn't it? <laughs> I think this guy might be joking around, too. But what if he's not, though? Bunch of posters say, You're too self-conscious. Try a little harder, and she'll see your love. Sorry, but I wasn't joking. You are a horrible, disgusting creep. Oh, God. The thread from yesterday. Are you really the same guy? And what do you mean you went on a date? <laughs> Tell me what happened there. Melvin Milktoast is right. I do want to hear about the date. <laughs> so, he never got his brother's address, huh? If he can't get in contact with his brother, OP is done! Done! OP says, I asked my mother for my brother's phone number yesterday, but he doesn't seem to want to talk to me. Talk about rude. We're family, weird emoji. Yeah, your brother knows how weird you are. Depending how famous he is, he's gonna have to apologize for your actions at some point, OP. This behavior's not okay, and I can see why your brother would distance himself. Another poster says, Hey, when's your birthday, OP? She might be preparing a surprise. Consider it, OP. It's March 10th, which was about a month ago. <laughs> so that's out the window. Uh, what do you guys do when you fight with your girlfriends? Uh, I'd like to know for reference, weird emoji. I don't know, bro. Go tell them they're right, unless they're not. And even then, unless it's egregious, just tell them they're right. Who cares? <laughs> My wife does the same thing for me. I think 90% of a marriage is just avoiding petty fights. <laughs> and then it's successful. Another poster says, Have you tried waiting in front of her house? Make sure to hide so no one sees you. <laughs> Uh, this hamster guy. There's a lot of trolling, but nobody beats hamster guy. OP says, uh, Of course I thought about doing that, but I decided against it since, really, isn't that stalkery? <laughs> yeah, this other stuff, completely fine. But we draw the line at yanking our crank in the bushes outside our window. <laughs> uh, so, I decided to just wait for her in the cafe instead, weird emoji. No matter what road she takes, she'll pass through here, so she can't go anywhere. I hope this guy's too invested in his 4chan thread to notice all of the people that walk by. All she needs is a hat, some big stupid Karen sunglasses. That'll buy you at least another day or two. <laughs> Two Chan poster says, And you think sending 600 emails in a couple of days isn't stalkery? Well, I'm a girl. Did you actually fight? Some girls will get mad and say, I'm mad, don't email me. So she might be indirectly telling you that she's mad. Not a girl, no girls on the internet. <laughs> Just another troll, I'm sure. Things like this are why Chris Chan fell apart, you know? <laughs> Everybody just loves a dumpster fire so much. They're like, if we all dump a little bit of gas, it'll grow out of control. And I'm over here like, I, I, I don't know if that's a good thing, guys. <laughs> but they never listen. If you can't beat them, join them, right? <laughs> OP says, I, I, I figured that she might be mad, but, well, do girls sometimes fake being mad uh, to see if their boyfriends really love them? Weird emoji. Yeah, I guess sometimes the uh, the really unstable ones do. In a relationship that's worth being in, nobody is testing anybody else. Of course, in basically any relationship at all, both parties are consenting, so... I don't know, the subtleties might be lost on ROP. <laughs> Another 2 Chan poster recaps a bit and says, His brother's a former actor, FYI. Assuming he's not just making that up. I deeply pity that man. Soon enough, he's gonna have to apologize for his relative's crimes. Dude, that is exactly what I said earlier. Uh, it's guaranteed. Again, depending how famous of an actor. But no matter what, it's relatively obvious why he's cutting ties, isn't it? 
OP says, I, I said I'm not a stalker. <laughs> Haven't any of you ever waited for a girl you're not dating? No. <laughs> and a husband who waits for his wife at the station isn't a stalker, is he? I mean, they're, they, they signed a legal contract together. You have a misinterpreted string of emails. <laughs> there is a difference. God, he's driving me nuts. When I meet her, I think it might be best not to harshly question her or get mad, but to calmly embrace her, weird emoji. Advice, please. <laughs> Uh, Rawful. <laughs> uh, maybe if you have mutual trust, but even if you love her, stalking is stalking. If a boyfriend or girlfriend gets stalkery, the other one will want to break up. Man, she's totally waiting for you to come meet her. <laughs> uh, she doesn't want you to email her or call her. Uh, just come by, so forget it. She's testing you for sure. Take her up on the challenge. <laughs> why? Uh, why must you do this? I wish he would have got stonewalled. Everybody telling him to pump the brakes. But that's just not the internet. There's many voices. Decide carefully which to listen to. OP says, I guess you're right, weird emoji. I'm going to try her out. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Hey, no, stop, just calm down, don't do it. <laughs> we had two decent responses and one troll response. Or I guess one good, one bad, one raffle. <laughs> and he decides to listen to the troll response. <laughs> of course he does. OP continues, uh, well, actually I'm 50-50 on going or not going now that I think about it, weird emoji. I've been sort of panicking since yesterday, so I can't tell which is the right thing to do. If I'm really a stalker like you say, then what will happen to my relationship with Denko? I'm scared. The relationship never existed. You can't be sad about something that never existed. Other 2chan posters say as much. Is there even a relationship between you? Or is it just a lot of her hating you? <laughs> Look, just ignore these dumbass trolls who say that you're not dating or that you're a stalker. <laughs> That's just the kind of tripe that you get on 2chan, right? <laughs> Send her another 50 emails, buddy. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you should go. She's just being shy. <laughs> He's gonna go, you maniacs. You made him go! OP, sorry I haven't been replying much. I'm just thinking I might miss her passing the station while I'm typing. That's what I've been praying for this whole time, <laughs> OP. Uh, okay, I made the trip, weird emoji. It looks like I'm not gonna get everything cleared up unless I meet her in person. <laughs> gonna ring the doorbell now. <laughs> Come in. Come in. You think he's on her porch posting this? <laughs> They're looking through the peephole like, what the hell's he doing out there? Tell him to go away. <laughs> Uh, OP continues, I rang the doorbell, but nobody showed up. I realized it might be possible her mom was out and she was in the bath, and we haven't kissed yet, so seeing her naked already would probably be rude. <laughs> Weird emoji. Holy God. <laughs> uh, we're just leaps and bounds. You have to do the steps in order. You just skip like 10 steps. Plus, I concluded that even if she came out in a bathrobe, I've never seen a girl like that before, so I wouldn't be able to talk well. So finally, I thought I'd just leave a note in her mailbox. I bought some paper at the store, and I'm just thinking about what to write. Weird emoji. Yeah, what you want to do next, OP, is uh, get a newspaper and start cutting all the letters out to make your notes. <laughs> Because that's the level of insanity that we're dealing with. Uh, 2 Chan posters say, If you're writing a letter, you'd better include a bouquet with it. If she doesn't want to say anything mean, then I'll have to. Just get away from her, now! Oh, 
Christ! <laughs> Realist poster in the thread. <laughs> a long time ago, I got my girlfriend mad over a little thing, and just like OP, she yelled at me not to contact her. So I went straight to her house, apologized sincerely, hugged her, and patted her head. After that, we had a good meal, drank at a fancy bar, and everything was just dandy. <laughs> first things first, hug her and pat her head, and make sure to apologize. Good luck, Mr. Boyfriend. <laughs> Mr. Boyfriend? Uh, you're not helping. OP says, I got an email, but I'm too scared to open it. What if she says she's breaking up with me, weird emoji? My hands are trembling at the negative things it could be. Yes, it could be basically nothing but negative things. <laughs> OP posts the email, subject, were you at my house? Contents, nothing. And, uh, does this mean she was in the bath and couldn't come to the door, weird emoji? Then was I wise to look into the house but avoid the bathroom in case things would awry? Oh, you didn't mention that you had been peeking into the windows. <laughs> that was probably ill-advised, Mr. Boyfriend. Two Champ Poster says, Come on, lover boy! You're, you're lovers! Tell her you came by to see Denko's hot bod. Oh, gotta have humor in a lasting relationship, man. <laughs> it's not humor. Please stop. Unless you're hamster posting, I don't want to hear about it. You're hiding in your house, Denko? You poor thing. I hope she has a friend to stay beside her. No friend but Mr. Gunny. <laughs> Another poster says, you should send this. Subject, yeah, I was. Contents, I was worried that I couldn't contact you, my beloved Denko. Since we're dating now, I just wanted to see your face, you know? Well, I'm still very close by, so can we stick together today? Go with that. It gotta be natural, inviting her on a date. Flow like water. Dude, this guy really trying too hard to get him to try too hard, you know? <laughs> OP says, thanks. My brain doesn't work when I'm panicking like this, so uh, that's a big help. Uh, I'll send that. You're spoon-feeding him poison! You realize this, right? <laughs> uh, OP, you know, I ring the doorbell a bunch of times thinking Denko wasn't there. Do you think she thinks I'm rude? Weird emoji. <laughs> rude doesn't begin to cover it. Uh, two champ posters say, You done, dude! Mashing the doorbell, dear God! This is a troll, right? Just tell me! I can't take it! <laughs> <sighs> wow, my sentiments exactly. Even decades into the future. I am seriously scared right now. Stupid emoticon, late replies, doesn't know what the hell, ignores actual useful replies, sounds like a dumb ass. This guy pisses me off. Wait, wait, wait. Sounds like a dumb ass? <laughs> uh, Please just let the thread derail at this point, but it doesn't. OP returns, uh, waiting for her reply now, weird emoji. <sighs> Romance is making for a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> You'll bet your sweet bippy. Uh, doesn't it though? I've never had such huge shifts in feelings before. You're the only real people I can talk with, since I don't have any friends, but I'm glad I have you. Yes, Internet. Thank you for being there. <laughs> Thanks to those of you who are supporting me and giving advice, weird emoji. Now the poster says, I can tell. Denko's just Sundare, man. Gotta embrace her to bring out that dairy OP. It's never gonna happen. Now it's just the OP and this one troll stalking Denko. You're like almost complicit in this. You realize that. <laughs> OP, I'm late saying this, but I went back to Denko's house. Since I got an email, I figure she must be out of the bath by now. Weird emoji. Well, I'll report once we meet. Bye bye I think this 2 chant poster said it best. Eep. <laughs> oh no. 
OP. Sorry, I needed time to figure out the situation. I went to Denko's house, rang the doorbell, and Denko's mom came out. And she said, if you come by again, I'll call the police. Which of these do you think it could be? <laughs> A. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're multiple choices now. Uh, Denko's mother is opposed to me and Denko going out. B. Her mother misinterprets me as being a stalker. C. She's mad about me ringing a bunch of times earlier. Uh, those are the possibilities I can think of, weird emoji. I'm still kind of shocked that her mom's mad at me. I mean, if we're really doing multiple choice, I guess... B is closest to the correct answer. <laughs> Another poster says, Or D, Denko has you pinned as a stalker. If she's as cute as you say, she must have a boyfriend. You gotta embrace her as hard as you can to relieve her. Better email Denko. Just to make sure. <laughs> Don't you already know? Deep down inside, little Denko's just being shy, huh? Her mother must be misunderstanding why she's red-faced in her room. Explain it to her, and she'll understand. No, she won't. She's gonna start answering the door with a gun. Or at least a can of bear mace. Can't really have a gun in Japan. And out of these four replies, the only one <laughs> that's actual good advice, D, her mom isn't misunderstanding. You are a stalker, because, you know, you are, <laughs> OP. For now, I mean, I'm just calling Denko cell phone. If I don't talk to her soon, there are only going to be more misunderstandings. If she thinks I'm weird too, I'm gonna feel terrible, weird emoji. Oh, she's, she's thought that you were weird for a long time. Don't worry about that. Random poster says, ah! Do you not realize that you were done after sending her 600 emails? OP, I can't stop crying over how miserable I am, weird emoji. <laughs> oh my god, this hurts me to my very core. I'm crying looking into the computer screen, but still thinking about passerby giving me weird looks, which makes me cry even more. Love is really hard. <laughs> Can't do it. I can't take this sh no more, man. Uh, the fact he's doing this in public, oh, it brings me such joy. All right, cut it out, OP. It's funny, but nobody likes to see a fat man cry, you know? <laughs> OP, uh, I think crying it all out helped. I've been thinking about it. Denko hasn't said anything to me straight, so. It's her mother who is shady, weird emoji. But if she calls the police, my life is over. So I need a way to meet Denko without involving her mob. Yeah, surely having her cornered and alone will help the situation. The mental gymnastics here are crazy. <laughs> Where the poster says, Stake out behind her house. If Denko comes to the window, knock on it. And basically you're good. <laughs> Uh, OP, I don't want to take unnecessary risks. Really, waiting in front of the station is best, but I think I'll lose if it's a war of attrition, weird emoji. But something similarly romantic to what the guy above me said might be good. Just imagine you've been camping out at a Starbucks or a maid cafe for a week straight. <laughs> Denko, I've been surviving on nothing but muffins. I love you. <laughs> Uh, Random poster says, It's like goddamn Romeo and Juliet, man. You could even throw rocks if Denko's room is on the second floor. <laughs> uh, OP. All right, I'm going to go check Denko's house. Bye-bye. <laughs> Random poster. Oh, God, oh, crap, oh, hell, oh, damn, oh, shit. Don't tell me OP was arrested, was he? Policeman ending. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, OP. I look forward to your next work. But that wasn't the end of the thread because OP made his triumphant return. How triumphant was it? He says, I'm back home for now, weird emoji. I went to her house and looked for Denko's room. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I saw a curtain move inside, so I peeked behind it and met eyes with Denko. Then she immediately screamed, Mom! <laughs> and I instinctively fled. <laughs> the police, they are after me. Uh, holy hell. So yeah. I'm at home now, weird emoji, but it's crying this time. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh, you actually did it! You maniac! Right, the poster says, Damn, dude, you're done! Give yourself up! <laughs> Man, why did you run? Think about how she feels! That's true, the point of this whole exercise was open and honest communication. Doesn't seem to be going well. <laughs> OP? Isn't it awful? I just don't get it. Am I being played with? Why does the person most important to me have to trample on my feelings? I know that all her feelings must have turned to hate now. She's getting really upset with me, weird emoji. I punched the wall really hard, and now my hand hurts too. This is the worst. Bro, you need to start drinking a monster before you punch holes in the drywall. Also, change your name to Kyle. Trust me, it seems like a dark road, but just lean in. Women love douchebags, am I right? God, now I'm doing the trolling again. Why does this thread always do this to me? What are you making me become? <laughs> uh, random poster says, If it were me, I'd go back and make sure to talk with her. Or better yet, give her a letter written in my own blood. Write it in your own blood so she'll know it's true. <laughs> yes, now that is romantic. More for the leeches, am I right? If he does it, if he does it, this can't be real. Trolls trolling trolls. <laughs> OP, apparently got another email. Contents, don't call me or email me anymore, please. I'm sorry, but I'm really, really scared. If there's been a misunderstanding, then I apologize, but this is my last email. Please don't contact me again. I am begging you. <sighs> what does this mean, weird emoji? <laughs> You, higher mammal, hmm? can you read? Uh, you're beyond help, you know. I've been thinking about it for a good while now, and I'm just not sure. 2chan posters always here to lend their insight. It means don't contact me ever again, for the love of God! <laughs> for the love of God! Please! Uh, he's not gonna listen to that. The troll posters are what fuels this train. And here comes one right now. Her mother is a wicked woman. Do not be fooled, OP. Well, sounds like you're only banned from phone calls and emails. Do you have a carrier pigeon? <laughs> <laughs> don't call or email me anymore, please. In short, don't associate with her. I'm sorry, but I'm really, really scared. She's afraid of the things that you're doing. If there's been a misunderstanding, then I apologize. You apparently think Denko likes you, OP, but she does not like you at all. Yep, and, and nor will she ever. So far, helpful posts and troll posts are neck and neck. Another troll poster says, you're just being tested, OP. <laughs> Are you really going to give up here? Is, is this truly the extent of your love? <laughs> Another troll poster. OP's love is just so pure. I don't think I could possibly imitate it. <laughs> uh, so far, four troll posters, two normal posters. But then we get two more normal posters at the end, so technically it's neck and neck. But I still know what choice OP's going to make. <laughs> uh, Random poster says... I'm guessing that this is what the OP thinks. Don't call or email me anymore, please. Oh, she must want to meet me in person, weird emoji. I'm sorry, but I'm really, really scared. Denko must be in danger. I've got to help her, weird emoji. If there's been a misunderstanding, then I apologize. We've repaired our friendship. <laughs> now we'll always be together, weird emoji. But this is my last email. Please don't contact me again. I'm begging you. Yep. Definitely wants to meet in person, weird emoji. <laughs> Gosh, terrifyingly accurate. OP just says, uh, my mind is a blank. Was there a point where it wasn't? <laughs> what does Denko want to become of our relationship? 
I want to meet her face to face, but... Oh, and my power cut out again. Weird emoji. Dude, just... What? No! <laughs> I can see why, uh... The people who are actually trying to be helpful in this thread are just getting frustrated. And all that's left will be the trolls. And then, I don't know, say a prayer for Denko. I'd say say a prayer for OP, but I don't actually care. Random poster comes in and says, So, this is a troll, right? If not, then go turn yourself into the police, OP. This has actually taught me a lot about the mentality of a stalker. I mean, that's the reason that I decided to research it. Certainly delusional, but yes, also fascinating. OP says, I'm just so afraid of Denko rejecting me, weird emoji. Bro, what? Been there, done that, no? <laughs> At this point, I'm not sure it's possible to get the happy end that everyone wants. <laughs> everyone? Uh, I'm just trying to think of an email to send to Denko, but my mind's been a blank. Surely somebody is going to craft another email for him. Can they be charged with stalking by proxy or something like that? <laughs> uh, a poster says, Do not send anything! If you see her at school, tell her you're really sorry for troubling her! Okay? What everyone wants is Denko's safety. Just leave Denko alone! She must be so confused. That... Uh, everyone... wants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what everyone wants is OP behind bars. At the very least, psychiatric institute where he could get some help would be my recommendation. The happy end that everyone wants? What planet does this kid live on? <laughs> OP. All you guys hating me is getting annoying. I'm afraid I might be brainwashed by this place. Weird emoji. <laughs> I'm going to ignore 2 chance opinions and write an email with my heartfelt feelings. Yeah, it seemed to work the last time. I don't know. It seems like we're really determined to go down this road, aren't we? Posters say, if you like Denko, then don't send it. I'm serious! Stop giving her reasons to despise you! And he still doesn't even know why he was bullied in school. <laughs> uh, he's got a touch of the tism, I do think. Maybe more than a touch. That's a whole handprint. <laughs> uh, I, I want to have sympathy, but yeah. How many times can you spurn good advice in me to be like, Oh, well, you'll get him next time. He's not going to get him next time. At a certain point, we've got to think of Denko. OP? Subject, this is how I feel. Contents, I'm sorry for making you worry. I would never consider killing a dead co, so don't worry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> is that what you thought I would do? <laughs> uh... I, I, uh, okay. And now, I want you to take what I'm saying seriously. I really, truly love you, Denko. I think that I would be willing to die for you, Denko. I've always been trying to ensure your happiness first. And I don't think my feelings for you will ever change. If you wanted to ensure her happiness, you would leave her alone. You can't honestly believe the thing that you said, can you? It's very unfortunate that things got like this right after we started dating, but we could start over. That would be great, wouldn't it? Remember what I said when I confessed to you? I still feel the way I did back then. Well, I said this weird emoji. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you you don't have to remember what he said for the confession. We could scroll back in the emails or just open up the police blotter. Because if this guy doesn't have a file yet, that's something that we should be starting very shortly. 2chan posters say, PERFECTION! <laughs> uh, oh Christ, that first part will give me nightmares! Even if this is just the troll! It's horrifying that you could even think of that! Speaking as a girl, I would absolutely call the police if I ever got this. 
<laughs> Anyone would. OP, if there's any further developments, I'll make another thread. <laughs> Still waiting for dead code to reply now, weird emoji. Thanks for everyone who's given support. Keep watching over us as we work towards happiness. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is just, it's a lot to take in, you know? I like getting to do all the funny voices that add some levity for me. But I am still absolutely terrified for Denko. Is this gonna be okay? Tell me that this turns out okay. I know there's some comments that have heard the saga before. I guess it be what it be. Let's get into part number three and see what happens. <laughs> Help! The girl I'm dating isn't my girlfriend anymore! Weird emoji part three. She never was, but you know what? <laughs> as, as long as you realize it's over and not happening, I guess we're gonna call that a win. OP, I was going out with my girlfriend, Denko, but she suddenly told me we're not dating, weird emoji. Does this mean we've broken up? They... they haven't arrested you yet? <laughs> you still here? Forget about Denko. I feel so bad for her. We all do. It's a train wreck in slow motion. You want it to be okay, but you know it's not gonna be, at least for a few people. OP, hey! This is no laughing matter. I made this thread so I could sort things out inside before I went to meet Denko today. Still? Why? <laughs> this is how things went. I confessed. Denko gave me the okay. Denko said don't email her. Denko wasn't dating me to begin with? I guess. I, I don't understand it at all. Weird emoji. All right, show us that supposed okay email. In full, no editing. OP, me, I said, I love you, please go out with me, abbreviated. Denko said, sure, non-abbreviated. She suddenly changed her phone number and email address, so now I can't even contact her as much as I want to. Plus, there are strange rumors spreading about me at school, and everyone's ignoring me, weird emoji. It hurts so much. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> uh, Random poster says, GG, man. But it could still be worse. On top of her changing her phone number and email to get away from you, she could have you checked into a mental institution. Just facts. Probably where he needs to be if this is based in reality. OP, please! This is a huge shock to me. I can't believe Denko would say something like this. Because just yesterday, one of Denko's school friends sold me her new email and phone number for 60,000 yen. Weird emoji. <laughs> My god, dude. Uh, what sort of friend is that? Although, I don't know, far be it for me to turn down 400 delicious dollary dues. She could always get a new phone number and email, right? No, please don't ever do this. Do the right thing. Turn down the $400, okay? If Denko gets seriously hurt, that $400 ain't worth nothing. Another poster says, Same guy, huh? Frankly, I'm amazed he's still around. Wait a sec. I saw the old threads, but... OP, did you really send over 600 emails without getting a reply? <laughs> OP, I didn't have any experience with romance, so yeah, I, I sent that many. Uh, but I'm better now that everyone's warned me against doing that. Weird emoji. Better, I guess is a relative term. <laughs> uh, still not anywhere near acceptable, but yes, better. Random poster says, That's dedication, man. But, what would you do if Denko liked someone else? OP? I don't think that would happen. But if she got another boyfriend, I'd cry, weird emoji. What's with all these dudes crying all the time, you know? I'm okay with crying, but cry over something that means something, you know? Random poster says, She doesn't want your love. So pretending to date Denko is just troubling her. It's a waste of time getting so attached. OP, if I got another girlfriend, what would I tell Denko? <laughs> what would be the point of that? Well, let's pretend that we're in an alternate reality where you were in any way capable of getting another girlfriend. I think Denko would thank her lucky stars. <laughs> uh, Random poster. 
Oh, this is funny. I just woke up my girlfriend who was sleeping beside me, had her read the previous threads, and now she can't sleep anymore. <laughs> uh, be careful, you're gonna end up like OP. Given the title of the thread, don't you already know that it's time to give up? Let's be realistic here. He didn't have a girlfriend at any point. So, did you end up getting a reply from Deadco? OP, after I sent that message, Deadco changed her number and address, and then the next day, her friend sold him to me. <laughs> then I tried sending another email, but she changed her number yet again. Oh! The friend with the finesse, dude! She straight up told her. He gave me 400 bucks. Just change your number before he starts contacting you. She probably even gave her half. That's MVP plays right there. That's, that's 4D chess. <laughs> I was really upset and bought the info from her friend again. But when I finally emailed Denko, she said we're not dating, weird emoji. Yes, nor had you ever been dating. I don't see how this comes as a shock. Then again, that industrial grade copium is some strong stuff. <laughs> uh, the poster says, So the current situation is that she said you're not dating. So you want to talk about what you should do? OP, well, Denko seems to be denying me her email. So I changed my address and I'm pretending to be one of her friends. I need a way to casually ask what she thinks about me in a conversation, weird emoji. Dude, that is so completely unsubtle. I'm sure Denko's gonna see right through it. Well, random friend that I rarely talk to and apparently don't know their email address asking about the guy who's been stalking me. I'll be sure to answer all your questions. This doesn't have to go in the police report at all. <laughs> uh, random poster says, you could just throw in a casual, like, is the thing with OP going okay? With a regular email. OP? <sighs> Weird emoji. I might send that, sure. Uh, but I'm not sure if she talked to her friends about it. And she might already be asleep. Random poster says, you better not email her right now. Don't blow your relationship at this point, man. Maybe around like 500 emails would wake her up. <laughs> uh, yep, it's just OP and the trolls hanging out in the thread for an extended period. I still miss Hamster Guy. Where's he at? He must be asleep too. Under 10 kilos of sugar or whatever it is. <laughs> Uh, OP then says, uh, but did she definitely know it was me, weird emoji? Please, random poster. Just be frank with the man, then the conversation can flow naturally. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, who is it? If OP's name comes up, you're safe. No? Uh, then didn't someone confess to you? Who was that? Then you can ask what you want to hear about yourself, OP. Abruptly asking if she likes or hates you would be a mistake. Lead the conversation toward what you want to hear. Yeah, I suppose that's deception level five instead of zero. <laughs> but we still got a long way to go. No rapport has been established at all. OP, whoa, thanks. That's really useful. Lead the conversation, huh? I think I'll send her an email now. Earlier I said, hey, it's me. I changed my address, so please add me. Denko said, you from place? Gotcha. Sorry, I just changed addresses too. Invite me if you go out drinking again. Foolproof plan, I guess. Random poster. Good morning. Sorry to message you now. I just woke up at this weird time. Before I get back to bed, I, I was just thinking. Denko, you're really popular, right? So do you have a boyfriend? Maybe start with something like that. OP said, thanks, <laughs> I sent that, weird emoji. <laughs> God, it's not gonna go well. <laughs> Random poster. If she actually replies at a time like this, I think I'll fall for Denko's sweetness too. God damn it, everybody in the thread has a choice right now. You go take a cold shower or you get against the wall. At least put the boots to him. Elijah, can we put the boots to him? Put the boots to him, medium style. Roger that. OP says, I've been wanting to know when Denko sleeps, so I've watched her window to see when the lights go out. Usually the lights are out around 1 or 2, so uh, 
She might be sleeping. Weird emoji. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, if we just break in at three or four, she should be entering REM phase. You can shave off all her hair and make a hair doll to keep in the closet. <laughs> Again, I don't think I'm helping. Uh, 2chan asks, OP, what about Denko charms you? OP, she's cute and tidy and kind. And though she's a little timid, she tries hard when she wants to. She's always putting in lots of effort in the shadows, weird emoji. She's just so delicate and pure. And she has a strong sense of justice, so she hates twisted things. Basically, you're attracted to her because she's the antithesis of you, right, OP? I nailed this down. I see exactly what's going on here. Random poster says, So basically, Denko would be murdered if this were a TV drama. Isn't that a little backwards? As a result of OP being constantly rejected, then he kills Denko out of spite. Please recognize that you were never dating to begin with. OP, I have had no intention of killing or <laughs> her. <laughs> uh, it's very reassuring. <laughs> I just wish things would go back to normal, weird emoji. And uh, what was normal again? OP, just mutually caring for one another, weird emoji. It sounds embarrassing when I write it. No more embarrassing than everything else that's gone on here. <laughs> Random poster says, And how exactly did that mutual caring go? OP, specifically, uh, we emailed each other. I put smiley faces on things. Bitches love smiley faces. We made lots of eye contact. I greeted her with a smile. I'm getting embarrassed, but yeah, it was a lot of things. Smiley faces and eye contact. Hmm. I gotta uh, write that one down. <laughs> uh, OP. Since everyone's warned me that I sent too many emails, I'll only send 10 every three days. Weird emoji. Yes, I'm sure these self-imposed limits are going to work beautifully. <laughs> uh, uh, read the poster says, Strong sense of justice. Hates twisted things. Wow. She must hate your guts. <laughs> Uh, Take heart, everyone. There's no mistaking that OP and Denko never mutually cared for each other. OP, I guess it's just hard to explain our relationship to a third party, weird emoji. It's something that only we could understand, okay? Yes, you, yourself, and you. Denko's not included in the we, I guarantee. She separated herself from the us long ago. Random poster said, God, you're still at this. There's other fish in the sea, and dating sites and all that. If Denko is eaten up by jealousy, then fine. Go back to Denko. But if not, then get along with your new girl. Wait, he has a new girl? I think that poster's confused. <laughs> OP says, I couldn't have anyone besides Denko. Denko's the only one in the world that I love. This is definitely reaching new and terrifying heights. Random poster, changed her number and email address, changed her number and email address, changed her number and email address. Does he, does he not notice? What boyfriend would be told about a new phone number and email? He just has no friends and no experience with women, so this is how he thinks. Make some friends first and then we'll talk. I mean, the friends thing, it's a hurdle all on its own, but at least OP might stand a bit better of a chance. OP, I would say that I don't have needs for friends as long as I have Denko. But then again, I think of you guys as my friends, weird emoji. Well, ain't that a kawinky dink? I think of all you guys as my friends too. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Maybe like the video, thanks so much. You guys are all so experienced <laughs> and you're giving me great advice. Poor little idiot. <laughs> Dude Champ poster says, this guy is a serious pain in the ass. Oh, why don't you meet her face to face? She'll definitely know how barf worthy you are. Oh, damn, what a sick burn. Barf worthy. Got him, coach. 
OP. I want to, but they might call the police. I've been watching in front of the train station, but I'm suspecting that she changed her route, weird emoji. Told you, bro. She's all about OPSEC these days. Heads on a swivel. Good for Denko, honestly. Good for Denko. Random poster says, Confessing over email is so middle school. Why couldn't you tell her directly? Can't you ask Denko's friends who sold you her email? OP? Yeah, I've heard from her friend. Supposedly Denko is quote unquote, seriously afraid I'll murder her someday. But I don't think I can trust them. It's important that I see the truth with my own eyes and ears, weird emoji. And then, if she spurns you face to face, it's definitely gonna end exactly the way that she thinks it is. I hate this guy, dude. I don't think there's any fixing it. Random poster says, Okay, just for the sake of argument, if Denko got a boyfriend and said, OP, you creepy as hell, never show yourself to me again, what would you do? Totally hypothetical, OP. Uh, I guess first I'd ask what she doesn't like about me, and then I'd try my best to be a guy that satisfies Denko. Holy sh man, he's never gonna get it figured out, is he? <laughs> uh, read the poster. You're always keeping watch? She'll call the police if you go to her house. You're keeping watch for her in front of the train station. You suspect she changed her route, and you still think that she likes you? OP. Uh, why? Do you think there's a misunderstanding? <laughs> I just want things cleared up, weird emoji. I don't know, man. It's been laid down pretty flat multiple times, but I'm tired of wasting my breath. Random poster says, okay, serious time. OP, you're pretending to be one of her friends of her email, yeah? Then casually invite her out for karaoke. Be a little late, send, I'm gonna be late, so you should go in before me. Then OP goes into the room, and you're golden. Since it's karaoke, you'll be good even if she screams. Good luck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, that is the most hateable thing I've ever heard. Something seriously bad could happen to her. You should feel terrible. You should feel much more terrible than you do. Another poster says, I don't suppose this Denko might be a little more than a figment of your imagination? If that's the case, I don't think there's any doubt that you have schizophrenia. Or perhaps Denko does exist, but all the outrageous events you write of here are completely wild fantasies. If that's the case, I still don't think that there's any doubt that you have schizophrenia. Okay. Maybe I'm way off the mark, but I'm just noting the possibilities. You don't get anything but what they write on two channel, but it's worth thinking about. Wanna know the best cure for schizophrenia? Leeches! <laughs> More leeches! If Denko figures out it's the OP emailing her, she is going to go insane. Yeah, if she's not there already. Can you imagine having to put up with this in your daily life? Then there's a bunch of weirdos on a message board talking about the whole situation. I just can't. There's too much to unpack here. OP says, I'm planning to get the info and make a quick getaway. I don't think I'll get caught. Weird emoji. Please don't. Please, please don't. Random poster says, it's inevitable, dude. Do you want her to hate you even more? Hey, bro. Denko's sleeping right beside me. Whoa. Her slot was like way loose, so she took it up the butt. <laughs> OP. Denko's no whore. You won't fool me. Definitely getting a rise out of him. I suspect we'll see that a bit more. <laughs> OP continues. Apparently, Denko and some of her friends are going to see the cherry blossoms in Yoyogi Park tomorrow. I might be able to see Denko from afar. Well, she's distracted by the blossoms, but I can use your advice to make sure that I don't do anything wrong. Weird emoji. Just you being there is wrong. Please don't go. Of course he's gonna go. <laughs> uh, random poster questions. And how did you find this out? OP. Denko's friend sold me the info for 3,000 yen. Weird emoji. Dude, I'm still saying that friend is way sus. <laughs> Uh, you need to separate from a person like that. 
Random poster says, oh, right. Is that friend who's selling you info a boy or a girl, OP? Uh, she's a girl, but don't worry. I know I can't trust her 100%, weird emoji. Random poster, having to pay for information isn't making you lose heart? What would Denko have to say to make you give up? OP, I think I'm being very faithful by going as far as paying to know more about Denko. Giving up at this point would be unthinkable, so I'm not thinking about it, because I really don't know what I would do. Yeah, I think that's what we're all afraid of. Random posters roll on through, ignoring that this could be a complete troll. Denko's a real good kid. I mean, she actually gave the time of day to OP, despite him being bullied all his life and still being a creeper even in college. Hey, was this the confession email that you sent, OP? And then the love letter gets reposted. OP says, hey guys, stop posting that. It's embarrassing. I think things are really gonna make progress this afternoon. No replies since Denko seems to be asleep, weird emoji. I'm surprised she could get any sleep at all knowing that this freak is creeping around. Random poster says, You should just casually greet her today. And since it's hot, you could give her a soda or something. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, OP, I've been thinking about just casually showing up, yeah. And then meeting Denko in person under the cherry blossoms so I can confess once more. Weird emoji. God, I hope Denko's there with, like, a big group of people that'll beat the living shit out of him. That would be the best ending that we could possibly get. Random person says, Uh, do you think suddenly running into you would make Denko happy? OP, was it accident or fate that me and Denko met on this earth? I got the information she was going flower viewing from a friend, so maybe that could be fate. <laughs> Uh, yes, fate is definitely that thing I paid money for. <laughs> uh, and Denko might just realize how faded our meeting is, weird emoji. And then Random Poster has a, a horrified screaming emoji that sums this up quite nicely. <laughs> uh, are you gonna check to see if Denko leaves on time? I would think that this is a troll for sure, but that guy who got arrested a while ago was for real. There's some serious crazies in the world. That is terrifyingly accurate. And yes, that's that's the thing that's always in the back of my mind. Yeah, it could be a really deep LARP, a really uh, intricate fanfic, but what if it's not though? Anyways, random posters continue. Details on the guy who got arrested? Uh, there was a stalker thread by some art student going on about such and such as true love. Everyone thought he was a troll, but then he got arrested. It was... <laughs> Madabi. <laughs> Wait, that was real? Here's how things are going to go down. He's rejected or reported. Isn't it awful that she tramples on my pure feelings? How can she not understand that I love her so? Never forgive! Denko gets shanked. Jesus Christ, no! Denko, run away! No, 100%. If you have any means to move cities, now is the time. I knew a guy who got rejected five times for not being their type, but the six dated him. I asked the girl why he dated him, and she seemed to honestly like his determination. Incidentally, it was the girl's first boyfriend, so she was worrying a lot about dating, but she fell for the guy's fierce forwardness. No reason for OP to give in, so uh, good luck. Don't stab her. <laughs> uh, I feel the need to say that second part again. Don't stab her! A good way to avoid stabbing her, it really is just to leave her alone. Can we do that? OP says, Whoa, that sounds exactly like me and Denko right now. That story really gives me hope. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, you can't see the troll posts for what it is, son! Random poster. I wonder what Denko looks like. Is she cute? Being targeted by a stalker can't be good for her mental state, though. OP, yeah, she's cute. <laughs> though, I don't know if I can compare her to any celebrities since uh, I don't really know any. I guess you could call her the model Japanese beauty. 
You don't have any friends? You don't know any celebrity? What the hell do you do all the time, OP? Collect dank memes from the chans? That's no way to go through your life, son. It's time to get up and out! Random poster asks, Huh, and her height? I bet she's skinny. OP? Eh, she's right around 150 centimeters. And yeah, has a slender figure. Weird emoji. And she's a virgin. Weird emoji. <laughs> Uh, random poster. Wait, how do you know she's a virgin? Did she tell you that herself? OP. Um, I just have a feeling she is. I mean, I know Denko couldn't possibly be such a loose girl. Weird emoji. Ugh, all these preconceptions. You don't know her at all outside of school. She could be doing anything out there. You better go check her house to make sure. <laughs> Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, random poster says, you're guessing? Well, who wouldn't believe OP's got a sixth sense for this stuff? I'm really sorry, dude. Denko might develop a fear of men at this rate. And why the hell did Denko's friend give OP info? Even to make a quick buck, that is the worst friend ever. Just facts right there. <laughs> this is definitely reminding me of the Minami thread. Somebody call for a snake? I'll go. <laughs> I don't know what that post means. Uh, random posters continue. Please protect Denko. You are a ray of light. Where the hell does OP even live? Same class as Denko in high school. They both live with their parents. College friends going flower viewing in your Yogi Park. Given that stuff, I'm thinking they both live in the city. And if it's the Chuo line, I think the college is between Shinjuku and Mataka. If I were to go any further than that, I don't think that they'd go to your Yogi for flower viewing. It might be for the best. <laughs> Point out something very, very specific. And then Denko gets a legion of... Well, maybe bodyguards, maybe creeps. No, nah, actually, don't do it. <laughs> OP. Uh, still not here, weird emoji. Which means, not time to write. If I get an email, I expect some advice. Yes, of course you do. Why would anything ever change? <laughs> Random poster. By the way, this is what he sent as a follow-up to the rejection email after peeking through the windows for Denko. Repost of subject, this is how I feel. Random poster says, he explicitly denied wanting to quote, kill or her. If this is real, that is nightmarish. Yes, indeed. Welcome to hell, <laughs> OP. Guys, don't come look for me. That would be embarrassing. You'll make me laugh if I see you while I'm confessing. Guys, don't look for me, Teehee. <laughs> You're so transparent, dude. Uh... Random uh, poster says, what are you gonna go in? A suit? OP, uh, just pants and a shirt, weird emoji. Random poster, what do you think the chances of your confession succeeding actually are? OP, honestly, probably like 50-50, but I know she's gonna accept, I believe. Yeah, you can't have no in your heart. Life's a garden, dig it. <laughs> Random poster. Poor Denko, she's gonna have PTSD, if she doesn't already. OP, and not to spoil anything, but I do have a special backup plan. I think one of Denko's friends asked her to buy some alcohol. Then, while Denko is alone, I call to her and bring her under the cherry blossoms, weird emoji. Let's not get alcohol involved in this, please. <laughs> Random poster. Oh, what a schemer. Make sure she doesn't hurt herself when she swoons. You got some real great friends, Denko. La 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 la. <laughs> uh, has all the info so far been correct, OP? The info I got from Denko's friend? Uh, so far, I guess, but uh, I still don't trust her 100%. Hey, yo, where'd OP go? Probably school. His priorities are all out of whack. But in a way, it makes me envious. <laughs> uh, that's a funny post, dude. OP. Actually, I've been ignoring college. They all call me creepy, so I stopped going. Weird emoji. Yes, better to just stop going than ever take any of their advice on board. What the hell? 
Random poster says, if you're gonna make a threat, answer your damn questions. Seriously, what an aspie. <laughs> OP, I'm not an aspie, okay? I'll answer anything, but sorry if I overlook anything, weird emoji. Random poster, so the only info you've gotten from the friend is Denko's contact info and the info about today. OP, no. She sold me a bunch of other info. Like the other day, Denko went with a friend to a soap store and bought some honey-scented body soap. So now I'm using the exact same stuff as Denko, weird emoji. God, you are just a sad, strange little man, ain't you? <laughs> OP, hey, please don't do this snake thing, okay? My entire life is riding on today's confession, so I'm terrified of someone getting in the way, weird emoji. Well, I guess they mean snake, like solid snake. I thought it's one of those things like, anybody call for a plumber? Whatever, random poster says, just one thing I want to ask, OP. If Denko is with a boyfriend at the park, Will you stab her? OP, she definitely doesn't have one, so it'll be okay, weird emoji. I noticed that you didn't bother answering the question. <laughs> That's a little concerning for me that you didn't bother answering the question. OP continues, Ah, apparently I'm being misunderstood again. The reason I'm using the same body soap is just because I thought it might help me know Denko's feelings and make me think about things. So, it's not for gross reasons or anything. That came out of nowhere, what? <laughs> we weren't thinking that it was. All I said was sad and strange and now we have to add sick and gross to the list? OP says, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I got an email from Denko. I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna wash my face first, like usual. Surely that will help. <laughs> Subject, none. Contents, question, is this OP? I think this is the first time I've experienced synchronicity. Random poster, uh-oh, busted! <laughs> OP, how did she find me out? Weird emoji. I'm thinking how to reply. Please, I need a way to avert this crisis. I mean, it was such an easy lie to find out. She just talks to that person again. Hey, I heard you changed your email. And he's like, no, I didn't. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Read the poster says, it was probably one of these two. What were you sending her? That damn emoticon? Or she got an email from her real friend. Ha, <laughs> gonna have to get serious now. This is tough. Uh, she's clever. Uh, I don't know how you could reply to keep up the charade. <laughs> huh, OP, what about him? Uh, that's the best I got. <laughs> uh, admit what you've done. Take your L and walk away into the wilderness forever. OP says, you're all so mean, weird emoji. For now, I, I sent that email. I'm feeling so depressed, weird emoji. Well, for the people supporting me, I'll keep you up to date on the results of the flower viewing. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye, creep, at least for now. There's two more posts to go, but it's gonna have to wait for the moment. I'm interested to see how all of this is going to turn out. I hope that it's good, but it might be horrible. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I do know karate. <laughs> I hope you like pain. Pain! Help! My girlfriend is testing me! Weird emoji. <laughs> I'm being tested by this girl I'm dating. How's a guy supposed to react to this kind of thing? Tell me, somebody! Weird emoji. Then a random poster asks, Denko guy, is that you? <laughs> LP, yes. I'm sorry I'm late with my report, weird emoji. <laughs> Great. I was successful in coming into contact with Denko on Friday, but a bunch of other things happened, weird emoji. You, again, 
Uh, first, I, I paid Denko's friend 20,000 yen to make sure my plan went smoothly. I asked her to request Denko to go buy alcohol, and then... Finally, finally, I saw Denko again. Weird emoji. I didn't want to suddenly call her. Yeah, because she would have run away. <laughs> so to display my passion as her boyfriend, I snuck up from behind and hugged her. Weird emoji. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty sure that's assault at this point. And I hope that Denko's friend feels absolutely awful about this too. OP continues, uh, Denko's body felt so warm. Weird emoji. Oh, God. Tell me no more. It might have just been the best moment of my life. I don't think I'm going to wash these clothes so I don't forget. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Denko was surprised, too, and let out a really loud shriek and ran, but I wasn't going to have that again. I grabbed her arm so she couldn't run because I wanted to hear her true feelings. Weird emoji. Dude, this has just hit a new and terrifying peak. This is so not okay. I hope I don't see any trolls. I hope there's a bunch of people putting their foot down and being like, whoa, dude, it's not even close to funny anymore. Random poster says, I've seen scenes like this in horror films about serial killers, man. Right you are, John Travolta. OP says, eh, Denko was hollering, so her friends got worried, and she said she was going home for the day, and they all told me not to come near Denko again, weird emoji. I hope she replies soon, <laughs> weird emoji. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hell no, no. Uh, what have we learned? Oh, nothing at all. Random poster says, have you asked her how she felt after that, OP? Well, I'd rather have advice on how to do that than do something clumsy. That's why I made a thread, so I could ask you guys, weird emoji. Denko, you've been so much trouble to deal with, and I'm exhausted. I want to talk it out with her, but I need help on how I should go about it, weird emoji. Random posters say, Dear God, this guy is even more crazy than I thought. Poor, poor Denko. Are you still emailing her? Pretending to be her friend? Seriously? Still not behind bars? Hey, uh, I'm the snake from the last round, but uh, how'd this happen? I was hoping I could be reassured that it was just a troll. When did the flower viewing start? When was OP in Yoyogi Park? How long were you there? From around 3 to 4.30, I couldn't stay that long. Two other snakes who were there since 12 told me they didn't see anybody like the OP. The guests were starting to leave, so we left too. Uh, at least I got home safe. And then the thread dies without any more OP posts, but then... Help! I'm being bullied at school! Weird emoji. <laughs> Get what you f***ing deserve! Uh, yeah, you didn't think these chickens would come home to roost. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, OP says, I'm incredibly worried, honestly. I was bullied in grade school too, but this is just awful. Somebody please help me. And then somebody posts ASCII art of like a bunch of cats with the weird emoji face holding up a sign that says no thanks. <laughs> uh, they were all dancing around. Lots of effort went into that. That's beautiful. Random poster says, just become a masochist and all your worries will melt away. I'll help. Give me the name of your school and your year and the bully's name and phone number and anything else you know. You again. What happened with the flower viewing? Look, I'll help just this once, OP. What exactly do you want from us, OP? I want to know what I can do to not get bullied, weird emoji. Accept responsibility for your past actions and prove that you're moving forward and becoming a better person. Time only moves in a linear fashion, you see. All the things that you did, you shouldn't have done. But now that they are done, the only way that you can really even try to wind it back is to say that you're sorry to the people that you hurt. 
Another poster says, tell us about the intimate parts of your harassment, OP. <laughs> OP says, I was never bullied in my first year of college, but the bullying started again. I just ignored it at first, but people are telling me I'm creepy and to die, like right to my face. Most of the time they pick on me by sprinkling me with toilet water. <laughs> Uh, that is some innocent fun, isn't it? You are a turd. It's kind of poetic. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid it'll be like this my whole time in college. Weird emoji. Damn, dude, you, you got some serious making up to do. These people really hate you. <laughs> uh, Random post just says, huh, I can't help but think that there's a reason. I'm honestly surprised they do that kind of bullying in college. That's rough. In grade school, if you're heard or made fun of, you could always change schools. But college? Is it possible that you could just avoid the bullies? I mean, I don't know how Japan's colleges work, but I presume there are some transferable credits, right? Avoiding the bullies, probably a good idea, but there's also something to be said for, like, standing up facing the music. OP's back in the thread, he says, Thank you, weird crying emoji. More and more rumors are spreading about me, so I'm being called names by people I don't even know. I wish there were some way to stop the rumors, weird emoji. <laughs> yes, rumors is what we're calling them. Why not? Read the poster in the thread just says, Denko. <laughs> okay. <laughs> OP. I was usually teased for having a timid personality, but it's really rough getting bullied even after I'm in college. Bullying in college? <laughs> Something seems awful familiar about this thread. Is this the Denko guy? Getting bullied in college must mean that it's a pretty sucky college. Damn, that poster nailed it. <laughs> you are the cause of all your problems, OP. Weird emoji. <laughs> OP. Hey, even if there were a good reason, I shouldn't have to put up with bullying at this age. Weird emoji. I've been skipping school a lot. Out, out of fear. And probably also to play World of Warcraft, right? Let's just admit that much to each other, shall we? I can't even feel bad that the guy's fearful because he made Denko fearful, right? So this is all just chickens coming home to roost, like I said. You don't deserve any sympathy, you've done this to yourself. And the nice thing is I, I don't see any trolls any longer. I do still sort of miss Hamster Guy though. <laughs> A random poster says, Did you get to confess? Under the cherry blossoms? OP. Uh, sorry, I meant to give some details about me, weird emoji. Uh, I've never really written anything like this before, but, uh, hair, uh, tacky-esque, face, normal, clothes, I don't know much about them, but, like, ordinary pants and shirts. <laughs> uh, this has to be a troll, dude. This is the most nondescript human being on the planet. <laughs> Height, uh, 170 centimeters, pretty normal. Personality, quiet, weird emoji, uh, something like that. Any advice given that? Holy God, it's not based on your looks, you idiot. It's based on your personality and actions. Random poster says, I was bullied once. In my case, after a while, I didn't give him any reaction. And they soon enough stopped it. I couldn't make friends with them, but at least I could get them to not want to bully me. I don't think it's a very good idea to ditch school, though. You're just feeding them by letting them get to you. Nailed it down, surfer bro. OP says, really? Even skipping school counts as a reaction, huh? Well, duh. They know why you're not there. <laughs> what should I do? Deep down, I really just want to tell them, stop it! Weird emoji. <laughs> Although, I can't bring myself to say it in front of him anyway. Do I just put up with it for now? I do want to go to school, but it hurts. Hurt means growth, OP. Look inwardly. Ask yourself why. I beg of you. Random poster says, Deep down, I just really want to tell him to stop it. 
Is that supposed to be Denko speaking? <laughs> no, you shouldn't tell them to stop it either. If you do, they'll just want to bully you even more. That's what they enjoy. That's why they do it. First, you want to think of it like, oh, this again. They just don't give up and make sure they don't get any enjoyment out of it. It might take two months for it to go away for good. By the way, what are these rumors? Where did they come from? Well, that's some good advice piled with a little bit of dig the hole even deeper. <laughs> OP says, oh, I see, weird emoji. No reaction at all. I don't know if I can handle it, considering I was bullied in grade school too. But two months is better than forever, I suppose. It's bad timing though, since I'm mentally exhausted after my girlfriend broke up with me. <laughs> You have a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I don't really want to talk about the rumors, weird emoji. I'm not sure what to say about them. Look, OP, you're not fooling anybody, alright? Everybody already knows, we just want to hear it from your own mouth. So maybe we can let the healing begin. Rand the posters hop in the thread? Right, you don't want to talk about it. Cause you're the cause of them, right? If I'm wrong, just tell us so, so we can give you more useful advice. Is this the Denko guy? <laughs> it's Denko's boyfriend, weird emoji. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. He's just as bad at listening to people as ever. Oh my god, they broke up? Not really like they were dating to begin with. This guy is a college student, really? He sounds like a middle schooler at best. Yeah, sometimes the typing ain't so good, but it is what it is. OP says, If I mentioned Denko right away, no one would reply, honestly. Weird emoji. So, uh, I just wanted to ask about the bullying. <laughs> Lol, the Denko guy. Jeez, I'm curious about what happened with her. OP, can we just have a conversation here? <laughs> Uh, we are, about you. I don't have any friends, so if I can't even talk here, I'm gonna feel really defeated, weird emoji. Maybe that's what you need, son. Maybe you need to be beat down a little bit so you can build yourself back up as a better person. It's gonna take a lot of work. You're not gonna wanna do it. That's why I gotta force you to do it. <laughs> Random poster says, okay, dude, listen, listen, listen! The previous threads were all about Denko and all that stuff, right? And you talked about her plenty in them, but not here. If you didn't want Denko to come up here, then why the thread title? It's completely obvious that you're the same guy. Yeah, he has to be doing the weird emoji on purpose. Is he this dense for real? There's, there's no way. OP says, It's a very delicate situation, so even a single word could hurt matters. Why does everyone want to talk about Denko? Why not me? I'm not really in a situation where I could talk about her anyway. Weird emoji. Oh. You talk to the cops, that's what happened. <laughs> OP, see, and now everyone's just attacking me, weird emoji. I notice that whenever I talk about Denko, I get unpleasant responses. So please consider that I'm very hurt right now and don't want to talk about it, weird emoji. Yeah, not talking about it's fine, but can I send you 600 emails about it? <laughs> uh, we've been trying to read you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> And back to the bullying. I don't want to do what's being recommended. I want to know a more peaceful method because I can't put up with this for two months. If only things could go back to normal in a day. Yeah, I told you about the timeline being linear and whatnot, right? It's either wait the two months, appeal to their humanity tomorrow, in which case you'd have to nut up and talk to them, and I don't think OP's ever going to be ready for that, or you can change schools. No matter what the decision is, I don't think things are ever going to return back to quote-unquote normal because OP has been the abnormality in this situation the entire time. You can't get away from yourself. You're going to have to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Random posters quote him saying, I noticed that whenever I talk about Denko, I get unpleasant responses. Please consider I'm very hurt right now. And Denko has been hurt far, far worse. Quite so. That's why no sympathy. 
Another poster says, just give it to us clearly, all right? Are you gonna ditch or are you gonna post? OP, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'll write some. <laughs> it really does put me at ease when I make posts here, weird emoji. I wanna live a life in peace. I haven't been sleeping well lately. How do you think Denko sleeps? Clutching a weapon in fear that you might be right outside her window again? What a crybaby. <laughs> Why do I have to put up with a life of bullying? I don't know, but I know I have to face it somehow. And I want the people bullying me to know that they're being silly. Yeah, the toilet water thing was pretty silly, though. <laughs> Read the poster says, While it's true you might be criticized when you talk about Denko, some people won't give advice if you avoid talking about her, so just understand that. If you don't like the environment at school, Look for something new. Absorb yourself in a hobby or go somewhere where rumors about OP will reach you and do what it is you want to do. I mean, that is true. He could drop out. Any repercussion is still basically all his fault. <laughs> OP says, thanks for the serious reply, weird emoji. Not giving a reaction is really hard. I might have done so without even realizing it. Hobbies. Uh, I like H games and comics, but no real hobbies. H, I assume, means adult animations. Pretty gross, pretty grim. <laughs> Do you think things would settle themselves if I didn't go to school for two months? <laughs> uh, you have missed the point completely. Ran the poster. Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused, Tendo? You need to apologize to Tendo for everything. Now, OP, uh, weird emoji, you know Denko's nickname? <laughs> Are you from school? Bro just got found out. <laughs> this is getting spicy. <laughs> OP, you know the nickname Tendo? If your acquaintance is, I want you to reply, weird emoji. Poster comes back and says, oh, I know her name, first and last, but this isn't any time for you to be interrogating me, you creep. You need to realize the way you push your smug goodwill and shows of affection on her without even considering her feelings is the worst kind of violence. If you don't get that, then you're beyond all help. I mean, worst kind of violence, sort of an overstatement, but it is heading in that direction, as I've said in all of these videos so far. So I'll allow it. <laughs> Random poster said, Hmm, could you tell us more details about the flower viewing if possible? OP, If you're saying things about Denko and me, then I'll never forgive you. I swear I'll find you. Eep. Oh, but Jesus, you know he'll do it too. Uh, uh, I just peed a little. <laughs> there was no weird emoji. You guys, he's serious. No, seriously, he will do it. <laughs> OP, do you really know Denko? If you know her, tell me what she was wearing to the flower viewing, weird emoji. Say, if Denko filed a stalker report, is it likely that this guy would get arrested? I mean, maybe, if you showed him the 2chan thread. The arrest rate in Japan is like crazy high. They will not arrest you unless they're going to take it to trial and win. <laughs> But somebody else steps in and says, Very surely likely, right? If this guy gets ignored, then law enforcement is a joke when it comes to stalking. Which is often the case, unfortunately. Another poster says, This would all be seriously traumatic to almost any girl, especially a fragile one. OP still doesn't seem to understand the ramifications of his actions. Maybe we should get a hold of people nearby to file a claim for Denko. So in short... OP stuck Denko and is getting bullied for it, but he's acting like the victim? Yes, sir, exactly that. OP, I don't want to hurt anyone, but I do know karate. <laughs> I hope you like pain. Pain! Uh, oh my god. I really don't like violence, but this might be my chance to overcome my traumas, weird emoji. <laughs> what are you even talking about? Uh, it's this or put up with it for two months. And then somebody asks, where the hell are you getting this two months from? 
<laughs> it was in the last thread. You might have missed it. OP says, I was advised here that if I endured it for two months, it would go away. Weird emoji. <laughs> He's marking his calendar. He really took that literally. Somebody asks, hey, OP, what are your plans for today? OP, eh, wondering if I should go to school or not. Weird emoji. Randy Poster says, man, why can't you just tell us a straight cause for the bullying? Are you just going to keep saying rumors? Huh, well, I, I guess she didn't like the thing at the flower viewing, did she? <laughs> uh, not one little bit. That was probably the most terrifying part of the saga so far. And, you know, also the inner workings of this person's mind, made up or not, because people really do stuff like this. Oh, my God. OP says, apparently not. I can't take any more wounds. <laughs> Just seeing Denko makes me feel like my chest is being carved out of me. Maybe it's what you deserve. Denko, Denko, Denko. <laughs> A random poster says, hey, stop making fun of OP, okay? Can you say everything you want to talk about, OP? About the cause for bullying and the rumors you haven't specified about, about Denko, and we'll all just talk it out with you, okay? Yes, this person knows how to truly cut to OP's soul. You have to appeal to his ego. OP, sniff, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad there's a few good people. Weird emoji. <laughs> Uh, of which you are not one, OP. Random poster. You goddamn. Were you threatening Denko with violence? Not saying anything to guys and threatening women? You're the worst. What a waste of space. It's obvious why you're being bullied. Arnold the Schwartz coming through with the truth. If he did seek redemption, I'd let it happen, but he refuses to. So good. Consequences. OP, what? I wasn't threatening her, weird emoji. I just grabbed her, okay? <laughs> no, not okay. If you're that guy from school, please don't talk to me about this anymore. You got into an argument with Denko. You grabbed her arm. You groped her. You're a piece of sh That's what you are. Dude, I hope that the next time this OP goes to school, he just gets molly walloped by like 10 dudes. <laughs> uh, maybe then, maybe then it'll drive the point home, you know? And then we get cheering from the peanut gallery. Hooray, Denko's friend! OP, whoa, wait. I let go right away. I did a groper. Weird emoji. Everyone, please, don't let this guy lead you astray. <laughs> astray. Yeah. I find that generally the true narrative is somewhere right down the middle. And this OP is like the most unreliable narrator in existence, so I tend to believe random anon. Do you honestly think you're convincing anyone at this point? You damn liar! Don't use your stupid emoticon with me! You're gonna do something about that attitude problem? Hear it from me, guys. This guy says he's being bullied in college, but in reality, he's a sack of trash who Denko loathes for chasing her around. And he sees the situation as him being goddamn bullied. He is the epitome of creepy stalkers. Dude, I love this. I hope he gets run right off of 2chan and has to deal with what he's done in the real world. OP says, if I talk more about the flower viewing, I'll agitate the situation. All your name calling is really hurting me. I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me. It's a really delicate situation, so I don't want things to get worse or I'll go nuts. Weird emoji. Earlier in the thread, everybody said, yeah, he'll do it. Be scared. Now the reality of the situation is truly hit home and you are just a, a sad little man. You escape into the internet, you only look for the answers that affirm your own point of view, and it's poisoning your brain, and that's poisoning your life. I don't know if this OP will ever see the truth, if he's even real, but it is sad and strange and terrifying all at the same time. Random poster says, too late. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. You don't want to agitate things by talking about the flower viewing. There's nothing more that needs to be said. You're just going to be a little ass who won't apologize to Denko, so... Don't ever come near her again. 
Whoa, calm down. C could you tell us if something happened? There's no sense in getting angry. You see, that's the move. Placate the ego, ask for more of the story. <laughs> uh, that's how we keep this whole thing rolling. OP says, whoa, everyone's so nice. I never had so many people be this nice to me before. Weird emoji. Are you being sarcastic right now, <laughs> OP? Oh, I'm scared, but I'll write it now. I'm so glad there are so many people supporting me, weird emoji. Um, after the stuff happened, I got called by Aiko, who was headed to Yoyogi Park as planned, but the place was pretty large, so we couldn't find the place she told me to go to. All she wrote that it was a hilly place in Yoyogi Park. Is Aiko the betrayer friend? I guess it's sort of irrelevant. Uh, but eventually I found the hilly place. And of course, Denko was there. I watched with a telescope. <laughs> uh, yep, not normal behavior. <laughs> and I waited for a chance when she wouldn't see me. I thought Aiko was going to have Denko go to the store. But she suddenly said she wouldn't do it unless I paid an additional 30,000 yen. That's right, trip of conscience, but you know what sues all that? Money. <laughs> and so, of course, I promised I'd pay 30000 more. And she sent Denko to the store alone. And there was a road for bikes near where Denko was, but Denko looked toward me for some reason, and I impulsively got down on the ground. Weird emoji. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, why would you jump on the- that's gonna make you look way more suspicious. Holy god. <laughs> OP continues, hey, sorry for going off topic, weird emoji. <laughs> so then Denko found me on the cycling road. And she looked back my way once or twice, and then she ran with incredible speed toward me while I was squatting. And I thought, huh. Maybe I cleared up the misunderstandings. I stood up immediately and waved at Denko as she ran towards me. And then the thread hit a thousand posts. But we dare not make this a cliffhanger. I told you we're going to get it wrapped and that's exactly what we're going to do. What a terribly inconvenient moment for the thread to reach capacity. <laughs> Uh, uh, so yeah, another thread. Help! I'm suffering from these rumors! Weird emoji. Making a new thread here for now. Weird emoji. Okay. Uh, time to continue. Weird emoji. <laughs> so I was waving at Denko, waiting for her to come this way. But then Denko threw her bag at me really hard. And I ducked it to dodge it. But in the next moment... Denko screamed and kicked me right in the chin. <laughs> uh, bro, she has had enough. <laughs> I'm so glad. Just a little bit of street justice. It helps a lot. It was just so unlike her. It absolutely stunned me. I never would have dreamed that I'd get kicked by Denko. So I quickly grabbed Denko's hand to stop her rampaging. <laughs> rampaging? <laughs> Uh, right? Since it was just a misunderstanding, weird emoji. <laughs> uh, even so clearly being the bad guy, he's, he just wants to twist it this way and that. This is a delusional person or a legitimately amazing writer. I'm still not sure how to feel. Then the random comments pop in. Shining Wizard! Denko, good job. Denko's had a whole lot of stress built up. I'm not surprised she'd get violent, no matter what you said to her. Then what? What about Aiko? And everyone else involved? Oh my god, Denko, we are so proud of you, girl! I've been imagining her as a weakling, since all we know is she's being stalked, but... Damn, I was wrong! And thank goodness you were wrong. But yeah, that, that nerd rage and the element of surprise, never to be underestimated. <laughs> uh, is it possible the friend who showed up in the thread was Aiko? They had details on the flower viewing incident too. If it was Aiko, it seems weird she'd say, what did you do to Denko, doesn't it? Since Aiko is selling the info to OP, uh, the part about threatening with violence too, since Denko used the shining wizard on OP. <laughs> Shining wizard. Uh, 
This is definitely a reference that I don't get, but it's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, maybe Aiko's the final boss, if this is like an RPG. It is not like an RPG. But if it's more palatable that way, sure. <laughs> OP says, Sorry, I got a call from Aiko. She said she had good info, uh, but when I said I'd be hard up for cash this month, she hung up on me, weird emoji. Uh, I'm talking with my mom now. You're begging your mom for money to continue stalking this woman, aren't you? She screamed and ran away from you, then she assaulted you. I don't know how this could escalate any further. OP, hey, sorry for going off topic. I've been sorting things out, so I was late with this weird emoji. So, Denko is getting violent, and I grabbed her hand, but she screamed real loud. And I immediately thought, oh no, she misunderstood me again. So I got on the ground and started apologizing. Bro, I hope she delivers another shining wizard post haste. <laughs> Uh, I think it got through to Denko because then she broke down crying. But then Aiko, the one who gave me info on Denko, came with some other girl I don't know and they suddenly pushed us apart. Weird emoji. Random posters say, I'm serious. Stop posting your made up crap on 2chan. People, don't believe a word this guy says about what happened today. Well, I believe him more than you. Since there's actually something to believe, is this Aiko? Compared to you going, no, you're wrong. I'm going with OP, who's at least starting to talk. Because anybody could just say, nope, that's not true. I've heard all of OP's story, so I want to hear this person, too. Uh, there's just one thing I want to ask. What do you think about Aiko selling info to OP despite knowing that Denko despises him? I don't believe it. That's just a fabrication by the OP. And Denko would never get violent. This guy's just seriously messed up in the head. Yeah, that seems to be going around lately. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Aiko's trying to gaslight the whole thread and be like, I didn't sell him nothing. This money came from my dead uncle who was totally rich. You shouldn't be arguing this by emotion, okay? How else would OP have known the time and place of the flower viewing, and the moment that she went off shopping, and the changed email addresses and phone numbers? That's probably why he got busted. I know lots of women like to go, I don't want to think about it, and dodge questions, but doing this is just being pointlessly cruel to Delico, okay? <laughs> Delico! <laughs> oh god, I died at Delico! And for those that might not know, Delico is a uh, cream wafer stick. Mmm, delicioso! <laughs> uh, OP says, and So they shouted at me, calling me a pervert, and even Aiko told me, Don't get any closer to Denko! It's not something I expected at all. It made me cry from shock! <laughs> Uh, you had to see this coming. And when Denko asked what I wanted from her, I was sobbing and saying, I just want us two to talk, weird emoji. And then it was silent for a while. And Denko said that as long as Aiko and Blank were watching, she would listen. And then I realized, oh right, I have to confess under the cherry blossoms. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what'll turn it all around after maybe getting kicked in the chin, perhaps. <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, this guy's really something if he thinks I should confess after all that. Something is right. <laughs> OP says, So then I let Denko under a cherry blossom within sight of Aiko and the mystery girl. And then I casually pushed Denko from behind under the tree. I wanted to talk about my feelings and how Denko was misunderstanding me. Of course, I was thinking of all these things to say to lead up to confessing to Denko, and I was sweating so much that it was getting in my eyes. <laughs> wow! Okay! Uh, he grows, bro. So Denko gave me a handkerchief, but the next moment Denko suddenly said, before I could confess, There's someone I like, and I'm sorry, OP, but it isn't you. It was so out of left field. It felt like I had been suddenly hit with a baseball bat. Weird emoji. 
Hey, the baseball bat thing's not a bad idea. Hold on to that for later. She is trying as hard as she can to let you down gentle, but you just won't let it die. Rand the poster says, Whoa, man, that's rough. What happened next? OP, thank you, weird emoji. It was such a rough day. I didn't even eat. Deadco told me, if you're really thinking about me, please consider how I feel. Uh, so I was glad to hear that Deadco knew I thought about her more than anything else. <laughs> uh, completely missing the point. It's so consistent. It has to be fake. This is just ludicrous. <laughs> But I really despise this guy that Denko liked. I'll have to get info on him from Aiko. Uh-oh. I never considered for a second that Denko would care for anyone but me, so it was a huge shock. So Denko shook my hand, made me promise not to come near her again, <laughs> and we went home. <laughs> uh, oh, great. <laughs> Read the poster said, you keep that goddamn promise. Sh Dude, run! Have you yet to tell Denko how you're so devoted that you're paying Aiko to hear more about her? I mean, if I were a girl, I'd be moved to tears by that. <laughs> the first troll. Uh, wonderful. It was about time, I suppose. OP says, Aiko's still giving me info about Denko. If I cut things off with Aiko, then I'd be really stuck, weird emoji. I thought you said you didn't fully trust Aiko. Why is OP being so careful with Aiko? Because she says Denko doesn't like me, weird emoji. Okay, but that's true, Ruffle. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know how you could raise a kid this effed in the head. Well, looks like this one's over. Time to disperse, guys. OP sure is being slow. I'm getting kind of worried. All the other threads ended this way, too. Give us some time. He'll make another thread, because he's a troll. <laughs> These threads just never have a satisfying ending. I really hope that the, the saga gets a satisfying ending, but I guess we'll have to find out as we get into the final part. Help! I'm not sure who I like anymore, weird emoji. Part 5, final part. Random poster, substituting for the OP. I'm not really sure what that title's supposed to mean. Oh my god, arrest him already! <laughs> not this again. Oh boy, 600 email man again. So I know up to Denko using the Shining Wizard on OP, but what happened next? <laughs> I think he's also getting bullied at school. Yeah, the toilet water, don't forget that. OP finally arrives, late to his own gala. <laughs> and he says, thank you, Threadstarter. You're a real help, weird emoji. I'm very grateful. Um... Uh, I was suddenly dropped to level zero, so I couldn't start it myself. <laughs> Sorry. Also, there's a scary middle schooler in front of the dojo, so I stopped practicing my Kyokushin karate. And now about Denko's boyfriend. A scary middle schooler? Hi, <laughs> uh, <all right>, bro. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't lose your lunch money. Uh, Red the poster says, How's that evil mastermind Aiko doing, OP? Actually, I'd rather you not say bad things about Aiko now, weird emoji. So it turns out Denko doesn't actually have a boyfriend. I'm seriously shocked that Denko would lie to me. Why would she do that? <laughs> she shook my hand when we parted, so uh, I don't think she really hates me. No, no, she hates you. The lie about the boyfriend was just to make it easier on you to walk away, preserve your ego a little bit. But you don't understand that. You just refuse to do that for whatever reason. Random poster says, Sheesh, man! You can't extrapolate all that just from a handshake! And you were saying you didn't trust Aiko before, and now suddenly you're her babysitter or something? OP. I'm sorry. I'll give more details. So, I asked Aiko for some advice, and then she was harsh. She said I have like a 10% chance of getting with Denko at best. And then, 
I suddenly realized maybe Aiko's jealous of me, weird emoji. <laughs> Uh, oh, that must be it. You've really got this thing cracked now. And then, it was suddenly so clear to me why Aiko was selling me information. Maybe she just wanted to talk to me all along. Bro, what? What? <laughs> what the hell are you on about? Once I had that thought, I started to see Aiko's kindness, and I realized my feelings were starting to shift toward Aiko a little. Weird emoji. Does anyone have experience loving two people at the same time? I don't know how to describe these feelings. <laughs> the girl who was extorting you for my- She's not a good person. <laughs> Uh, then again, neither is OP, so maybe it's, it's, it's for the best, no? <laughs> Where the poster says, what? What? <laughs> Those were the first words out of my mouth. This is the most outrageous misunderstanding of all time. So self-absorbed. Well, no point in telling us about it. Go confirm that Aiko likes you, OP. OP says, It's not that I'm self-absorbed, weird emoji. I'm really worried. Maybe it's since Denko carved out my heart that I'm being fooled into thinking that I love Aiko. Of course, it's also possible that I could love two people. As long as they respond to my emails, I mean. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Uh, how should I ask her, weird emoji? Don't, man. Please don't. <laughs> you had some semblance of a human interaction and you're like, I think we're in love now. Stop doing this to people. Stop doing this to yourself. <laughs> uh, but uh, one poster does have a great suggestion for how to open up a conversation. Just go up and ask her. Do you like a... <laughs> Uh, what, what? In the butt. OP? Yikes! What would happen if I asked a girl that? Uh, I don't think I want to ask that at all, weird emoji. You won't know until you try. <laughs> Gotta live and learn. Uh, well, I said, do you like a weird emoji? <laughs> Uh, I'm dead. Uh, I've had some bad experiences thanks to some of you guys' replies, though. If this makes her not like me, I'm gonna be really stuck. <laughs> no more stuck than you were before, I guess. How could we possibly make this worse? Rand the poster says, GG, no re. <laughs> hey, Co, you gave me advice, right? You were harsh with me, saying I have a 10% chance with Denko at best, but I had this sudden thought. Aiko, could you possibly be jealous of Denko? If that's the case, then I think I know why you wanted to contact me now. You just wanted to talk with me, didn't you? Yes, it's all coming together. After realizing this, I've come to notice your kindness, Aiko. And I've noticed my feelings are shifting toward you. I love you too, Aiko. So... Could I ask your feelings? Send this. <laughs> uh, he already blew it. But yeah, a, a follow-up 500 emails couldn't hurt, I guess. <laughs> OP. Wow, she replied already, weird emoji. Subject, G-R-O-S-S. -S. Uh, since she put stars in it, is that good? Did I get through to her, weird emoji? Yeah, the stars actually represent a chocolate starfish. Four little booty kisses. <laughs> uh, a random poster says, That sounds perfect! You got it for sure! You can do this! Go for it! <laughs> uh, yeah, the trolls are back in full force. OP. Okay, I might have sent this, weird emoji. I said Aiko. Know what I mean, weird emoji? Here we go, weird emoji. <laughs> Contents. Angry wrinkle symbol. Huh. Well, maybe she was confused about what I meant with my message, weird emoji. But I think we're doing well so far. Wanna drop the big question soon? I thought the big question was, does she like it? <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, well, where do we go from here? <laughs> Read the poster. This is the perfect time to send that earlier suggestion. 
Maybe they aren't all wrinkles, but like, an intersection? So, she wants to meet you? Oh, yeah! <laughs> OP, I see. So I am being tested, weird emoji. Okay, since a lot of people wanted it, I sent that suggested reply. And now, Aiko will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger! <laughs> Random poster says, Oh, perhaps it would be better that Aiko, the girl who sells info about her friends, is targeted rather than innocent Denko. I mean, yeah, I guess we're moving on the quote-unquote right way on the morality scale. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> OP. And now that I sent it, I'm really worrying what'll I do if Denko confesses to me too, weird emoji. Oh my god, it's just like in the harem animes. Now all my dreams are coming true. But Tuchan brings it back down to Earth, saying, Neither of them will. Dude, it's fine. Since that won't happen. <sighs> Date them both. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. What celebrities would you compare Aiko to, OP? Um, I don't know many celebrities, so that's hard to say. Weird emoji. She would probably fit in a hostess club, though. Yeah, but nobody wants to do that job because of creepy stalker dudes like you. Random poster says, look at you guys, mocking OP when he's so close to losing his V-card, man. Yep, any day now. <laughs> OP, whoa, whoa, am I close? Really? This is making me excited, weird emoji. <laughs> I can't wait for Aiko to email me. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Uh, random poster. Make sure to post live while you're losing your virginity. <laughs> uh, his next post is gonna be help. I'm not sure where my girlfriend's hole is. <laughs> uh, if you're gonna do it with Aiko, she's gonna need payment. Somewhere on the order of like 500,000 yen. We have entered a whole new world of Mr. Stalker's understanding. Haha, <laughs> Aiko would fit in a hostess club. Is she that slutty? Lots of women like that will only date men for their money, you know? Well, yes, we all know. OP, he, he refuses to know. That knowledge is scary. <laughs> I want this to be made into a whole bunch of media. <sighs> like Densha Otoko. OP's illness is getting worse. He must be off his meds. It's dangerous to keep this up. Please take your medicine and tell your doctor about this. He definitely does need some some therapy. Some antipsychotics of some sort couldn't hurt. OP, she replied. Contents, so you're saying you want a date? Huh? Do, do I want to date Aiko? Weird emoji. I'm worried about Denko too. If I date her, then I won't be able to date Denko, will I? That's not even a yes, man. She's just baiting you so she can hang you out to dry a little more. But I guess your your fantasy delusion's a little more fun to live in, so... Okay, just keep doing that. <laughs> uh, uh, random poster says, Whatever your choice, the result will be the same. She's throwing all kinds of signs, moron! Don't back away from this! Seems obvious to me. Three can play at this game. If things end with Aiko, propose the dead Co again. Well, but for now, go with Aiko. Ugh. Even if you're rejected, you've still got Denko, OP. Tell her that you want to date, and girls love men with experience. Trust me. Hostess club girls generally won't leave hopeless guys alone. And since OP's getting bullied even at college, he passes with flying colors. Indeed, it's not gonna end well, but nor should it at this point. <laughs> OP, sniff. Um, I just sent this, weird emoji. Do you wanna date me, Aiko? Man, are you stupid? <laughs> Only virgins answer a question with a question. What? Are you kidding me? Aiko asked if you want a date and you replied asking if she wants to date you? Girls hate men like that. God, you should have just straight up said that you wanted to date. 
You really never let us down, OP. <laughs> uh, it's times like these that I'm made even more aware than usual that OP is a virgin. OP, of course, ignores everything that everybody said <laughs> uh, and continues to craft his own world. OP, if Aiko says that she wants to date, then I wonder if I'll have to forget about Denko. <laughs> I'm getting a little marriage blue. Weird emoji. A VG person adds context saying the term marriage blue is supposed to refer to blues associated with approaching marriage, such as anxiety about what life will be like afterwards. I guess it would be cold feet in the States. Random posters chime in saying, um, I don't think you know what marriage blue means. <laughs> Wait, you're already getting married? Do you just not have any idea what marriage blue means? Or you're already planning to marry Aiko? I literally can't tell. Weird emoji. This is not the face of marriage blue. <laughs> Uh, hey, how about you follow up with this? I'm sorry I was so shocked. I replied with a question instead. Uh, that's just how it goes when I'm anxious about you, Aiko. So, yes, please go out with me. I mean, why didn't you just say that to begin with? <laughs> uh, because he's not very bright. OP says, sorry, but what exactly was the problem with what I said? <laughs> I'm getting impatient over the lack of a reply, though. A few hundred more emails, just showed them through. Now Aiko can reap exactly what she sowed. <laughs> Red the poster says, because you replied with a question when you could have been a man and said, yes, I want to date you. Trust me, OP, there's no problem. This is perfect. <laughs> uh, OP, thanks a lot, guys. Now I'm worried I'm making big mistakes, weird emoji. I'm getting a little depressed here. Random poster, the next thread is gonna be, help, my girlfriend is suing me, weird emoji. With the way this guy thinks it'll be more like, help, my lawyer brainwashed girlfriend is suing me, weird emoji. Help. The police are here. Weird emoji. <laughs> Help, I'm being chased by my girlfriend's friend. Weird emoji. <laughs> I love how everybody's just dogpiling. That's beautiful. OP comes back. Hey, I got a reply. Contents. If you say you want a date, then sure, we can date. Heart? Huh? Do I want to date Aiko? What is this feeling, weird emoji? I mean, she probably is going to soak up all of OP's money, leave him a dried husk. But hey, everybody's going to learn a valuable lesson. Random posters come back saying, I love you, Aiko. What? What? What is this? <laughs> what? Huh. How? Uh, but congratulations. Huh? Wh what? Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? This is the twist that no one has expected since the first thread. OP, going to Aiko's side right after breaking up with Denko would really be... I don't know. Weird emoji. I don't have any idea how to respond. Should we date? Won't she think that I'm fickle then? I'm sure she thinks a lot of things of you, OP, but none of that matters as long as the money keeps flowing. Random poster says, broke up? You weren't ever even dating, OP. He sent this, weird emoji. If you really want to, then we could date so we could get married later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, later, sometime, I don't know. Maybe this guy really does have, like, a developmental disability. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Uh, right. I'll forget about Denko if I have to. Sniff. Congrats, dude. Good job. You've done well. <laughs> what is this? Uh, we've just slipped into an alternate reality? So, now, it's Medage Blue, hmm? So you could... Get married later? Oh my freaking god. You're amazing. You know that. <laughs> uh, how old is OP? Just got into college, I think. Second year, actually. 
Hey, I'm dating, but I can't forget my old girlfriend. Weird emoji. Help! I'm being sued by my lawyer brainwashed girlfriend. Weird emoji. Help! The court wants three million yen in compensation. Weird emoji. Help! I had to pay the courts three million yen in compensation. Weird emoji. <laughs> Uh, OP, I got a reply. <laughs> that was quick. Oh yes, wasn't it? Content. I look forward to it too, smile. I just want you to promise me three things. First, don't tell anyone we're dating. Second, I'm the one in charge here, and if you deny it, then all this is void. Third, as a general rule, you're forbidden from contacting me if I don't contact you first. Can you uphold those three for me, heart? Oh, Aiko is a man-eater, isn't she? Look at her go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, weird emoji. Kind of strange how she doesn't want me to contact her, huh? Yes, quite strange indeed. Why could that possibly be, hmm? <laughs> Random posters. Oh my god. It's like she wants you to sign a contract. <laughs> oh yeah, she's totally after your brother and the money. Oh, she wants to have a monopoly on you. Isn't that cute? All right, raise your hand. Did anyone see this coming back when it was just 600 emails? <laughs> uh, it sounds like she's stopping just short of saying, I'll contact you when I need money, thanks. Next thread, hooray, I got a personal ATM, weird emoji. <laughs> uh, oh, dang, what color is Aiko's blood? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> uh, uh, sometimes you find happiness in places where you least expect it. Uh, congratulations, I really mean it. Do you though? OP, I sent this, weird emoji. Don't you think it's a little harsh saying I can't contact you myself, weird emoji? He's already trying to break the contract. Random poster says, be more forceful. See, this is why you're a virgin. <laughs> OP, thanks, you're absolutely right. <laughs> God. Uh, I'm feeling braver now. I sent this. Never mind, I was kidding. Let's date. I love you. Weird emoji. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna work out great. And random posters concur. Brave enough to become a slave, apparently. It sounds like you need to have some conditions of your own, man. Don't bang with anyone but me. Bang me once a day. Uh, don't spend my money on nothing. <laughs> Talk about an unfair deal. Final Fantasy 13 gives you more freedom than that. <laughs> uh, OP. Reply, reply, reply. <laughs> God. Contents. As a general rule, you're forbidden from contacting me if I don't contact you first. Gosh, why do I need to say it twice? I'll let you off with a warning this time, but be more careful from now on. Smile. So I guess that makes today, April 21st, our anniversary. Make sure you never, ever forget it. <laughs> Whoa, it's a V-card countdown now, weird emoji. Holy God, whatever you gotta tell yourself. You know what? You seem happy, so I'm just gonna let, let sleeping dogs lie. Random posters say, now's your chance. You gotta say something to show you'll remember it or else, damn. Aiko is a pro. <laughs> Time to lost virginity, XX years. <laughs> Two digits, Raffle. <laughs> uh, that's right. You'll totally get it in 84 years. <laughs> OP says, um, she said not to tell anyone we're dating, but maybe I should let Denko know, weird emoji. Also, what would I give her for our anniversary? The best present of all would be your smile. Go meet her, pronto. <laughs> uh, really stirred the pot here. Go give her your virginity, dummy. <laughs> OP, for now, I told Denko I had something important to tell her, weird emoji. And I asked Aiko, can we meet after school today? Uh, Three-dimensional Etchy denied. <laughs> Even I didn't see this coming. <laughs> Nobody did. <laughs> uh, and all he could do is compare it to the media that he consumes. 
Really would be a sad tale if it wasn't so terrifying. Rand the poster says, Not if you don't pay up 300,000 yen! What are you gonna do it, OP? Eh, I don't suppose the park would work, weird emoji. Jesus, at least go to a hotel, man! <laughs> uh, yeah, lost it in the park. Over there by the monkey bars. <laughs> uh, what? What are you? What? Can't you meet anywhere else? OP. I've never been to a hotel before, so I'm embarrassed. Weird emoji. Waiting for a reply now. Uh, maybe I should bring a vibrator. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll sell it. <laughs> Uh, a random poster says, A virgin bringing a vibrator. Oh my god. Hell, make that your anniversary present. <laughs> uh, I think uh, presuming that we're going to make it to a year is generous. OP says, And of course, wouldn't it be romantic to go with Aiko to Yoyogi Park? That memorable place and see the cherry blossoms together? Weird emoji. Memorable? For getting shining wizarded, you mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, R romantic would be good. The buzz of a vibrator backed by cherry blossoms. Superb. <laughs> uh, oh, you're such a romantic. I tip my hat to you, sir. You're like the Japanese Shakespeare. You are. Girls fall head over heels for romantic types, so... Good luck, <laughs> OP. In H Mega, girls usually pretend to dislike vibrators, but inside they really enjoy it. Yeah, inside. <laughs> but all my knowledge is manga and games, so I don't know if it's really true. Weird emoji. Help! Oh, two chan posters, you are left with with two paths before you. Which way will you choose to go? Poster says, Bro, haven't you ever read a normal romance manga? OP, no email, so <laughs> I might have to send one myself, weird emoji. <laughs> it hurts, weird emoji. I don't have a vibe, so I guess I'll have to go buy one from Don Quixote. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I guess he didn't even need the answer. He chose this very dark path all by himself. <laughs> uh, Rand the poster says, Don't worry, H games are basically just reality, but in game form. <laughs> uh, OP, hey, while well, I was headed to Don Quixote, I got a shocking email. Contents, sure, smile, we can meet anywhere. Go ahead, you decide. Oh, but one more thing I need to say. I want you to stay pure until we get married. I'm looking forward to my wedding night with you, since we're leading up to marriage here. Smile. So no touchy-touchy until then. Please, heart emoji. Bro, she's really playing the long game right now. <laughs> what does all this mean? Now I'm a little lost in the sauce. OP says, whoa, <laughs> looking forward to, she's really eager, and she's a virgin too? Aiko's such a good girl, oh man, I'm super excited, since I guess I won't need the vibrator for now, I just brought some lotion to use in the bath, <laughs> I hope we can use it together soon, weird emoji. This is going a new and interesting direction that I, I never expected it to go. Surely Aiko doesn't mean these things. There's gotta be like some massive plan baked into this. I don't know. Random poster says, I don't think she's getting in a bath with you. Quote, I'm looking forward to my wedding night with you since we're leading up to marriage here, smile. No touchy touchy till then, please, heart. <laughs> we'll be waiting forever. <laughs> <laughs> if you're keeping your promises, you really should make sure that she has her V-card intact, too. Yeah, definitely do that. Is there a single college girl in Tokyo that keeps her chastity these days? <laughs> and the answer to that? No! 
<laughs> OP, going in the bath will be fine. We'll probably have to touch. Uh, weird emoji. I sent her. I'm going to Don Quixote to get some stuff for the bath so so we could go in together. Uh, knowing Aiko's such a good girl to save herself for marriage is just raising the stakes. Oh, is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> but we're definitely going into a bath together, so I guess a hotel, huh? First time at a hotel. I'm nervous, weird emoji. My armpits are sweating. <laughs> uh, stop talking about how sweaty you are. It makes it really weird. Then OP follows up with, got an email. Contents, huh? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean, weird emoji? And, huh? Makes it sound like she's a little embarrassed inside. For now, I said, how does blank sound as a meeting point? <laughs> I'll tell you after school, weird emoji. Spring is coming. And I'm sorry I've troubled you all, but I'm really grateful. Thanks. I bet you all can get great girlfriends too. Probably not the adjective I'd use to describe Denko, but you know what? At least you're happy, big guy. At least until she stands you up or does whatever horrible thing she's planning on doing to you. Posters reply, You really don't think about anything except what's convenient for you, do you? You're sick, man. Get some help. For real? What are you talking about? Suddenly bringing up going in the bath? Like, what? And then the thread dies, but there is one last. And it is, HELP! I'm deathly confused by how women think, weird emoji. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, but you're not even close. You, you way off in the woods. OP says, oh, we just started dating, but I'm really surprised by the differences in how men and women think. I need to know the good secrets of dating, weird emoji. Like, like where to have good dates. It's not really about the date, it's about the company, isn't it? Random poster asks, why you... Are you the Denko guy? <laughs> OP. Ah, uh, um, yes. You were all very helpful with Denko, weird emoji. Oh, that's right, it's Aiko now, huh? The master-slave relationship. Did you just, like, give up on Denko or what? Oh yes, he shifted his affections. Maybe Denko is paying Aiko to lure this weirdo away from her. Huh? That's playing 4D chess. But OP says, I did write a letter, and I gave it to her, weird emoji. At any rate, you need to be close with your partner. Huh. Is that the trick to a long relationship? Do not tell this guy to be close to anybody because he will literally crawl inside their skin. You have to be much more specific. A, a long relationship is based on compromise and not starting unnecessary fights, okay? You only fight the battles that really, really matter. And then you win. And of course your spouse should do the same for you. Or girlfriend, whatever. Random post to say, What happened next, OP? How's it going with Aiko? Well, OP, a lot of stuff happened at the hotel. And we did do it, weird emoji. Oh, Aiko, you poor girl. <laughs> it's the worst 15 seconds of my life. <laughs> uh, though we did have a serious dispute after. Random poster. First, tell us what's not going well, and, and list what you don't understand. OP. Men and women just seem to think so differently, weird emoji. So there's a lot of stuff I'm worried about. Like if a guy goes in unprotected, does that mean he thinks of women as being solely for pleasure? Which would make a girl really mad. Because, yeah, she, she got really mad at me, weird emoji. What, because you didn't wrap it? <laughs> uh, this is so weird. Random poster says, Well, just tell us, OP, how much did you pay to do it with Aiko? <laughs> really cutting down to the root of the matter, ain't ya? OP, uh, she said she'd do it if I bought her 500,000 yen in clothes, but that's a lot of money, so uh, I negotiated it down to 350,000. Weird emoji. <laughs> it was a really great experience. Better than I could have imagined. Weird emoji. Yeah, you just dropping three grand? 
That is absolutely wild to me. Random poster in here asking the real questions, though. Christ, where the hell are you getting that type of money? OP, eh, my family's pretty rich, <laughs> and I know where they hide the money, weird emoji. Oh, so theft is the answer. <laughs> uh, I read the poster. How much have you paid Aiko in total? OP, I don't know. Probably more than like 700,000 yen. Damn, Aiko's raking it in. <laughs> uh, I read the poster. What? Only 700,000 yen? A regular couple going from first dates to intercourse takes at least two million. You should love Aiko more, damn it. Yeah, just hand her the difference in an envelope. Wait, you know where they hide the money? You're stealing money from your parents. I'm curious, to say the least. Uh, I'm protected. Jesus Christ. How irresponsible are you? If you get together, how the hell are you going to raise that kid? I feel beyond bad for any kid with a parent like you. Just facts. Just facts, OP. Aiko said the same thing. <laughs> I guess that's how girls think, weird emoji. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's looking for an easy payday. She doesn't want to be attached to you for life. Carry around a reminder of you forever. Ew. <laughs> Well, I think I've learned from it now. But girls like it that way in the H manga and videos, right? I thought unprotected was supposed to be better. Well, yes, but no. <laughs> uh, Random poster says, This is quite a direction things are going in. Did you at least learn that sexy books are different from real life? Did you at least give her a good apology? <laughs> uh, which she definitely deserves, even with the money. That had to be excruciating, OP. Uh, I'm not really sure why I need to apologize, since I was crying with her too. He <laughs> uh, kind of left a lot of stuff out, didn't you? <laughs> The third dimension is hard, weird emoji. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for some people, I guess it really is. <laughs> uh, Random poster says, Just get a toot, man. 350,000 yen, hot damn. Yeah, honestly, for that price, you could have bought like 10 chicks. But it's not about that for OP, okay? He's a, he's a class act. He's a stand-up guy, isn't he? He's not here for that festa full of flesh. He's looking for the mental connection. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. He does say as much, though. There's no love with ladies of the night, so... I don't want a weird emoji. Random poster says, What's OP's idea of a girlfriend? What does that mean to you, OP? Uh, an embodiment of love. I don't know. You're embarrassing me, weird emoji. <laughs> uh, you're embarrassing yourself, but why stop now? Random poster says, You're right. The third dimension is hard, but intercourse is a holy act that gives way to new life, too. You learn that you can't be careless, right, OP? If you make a single misstep, Aiko will just think you're incredibly irresponsible, so be more careful with her, okay? OP says, huh? But if she has a baby, would we, would we be able to raise it together? I'm not irresponsible enough to just abandon a baby, weird emoji. I mean, I guess that's good, but considering what you've demonstrated here so far, that kid might be better off without you. He could go find himself a, a nice stepdad somewhere, all right? Somebody comes in saying, men who can't cook ain't suited for marriage, my dude. OP, uh, I could make spaghetti, weird emoji. <laughs> uh, hey, that's a great start. You definitely learned it how to do big people things now. First, he got his noodle all wet, then he poured some pasta sauce on it, and we ain't even started making the spaghetti yet. <laughs> Random poster says, Aiko is your girlfriend. You should want to see your kid in the future. It was just a bad time for it. When you both want it, then have all the unprotected boom boom you want. I do know how you feel. When you fall in love, everything seems to run right by you. But does Aiko want children right now? If she doesn't, then of course she'll get mad. 
But if both of you really want kids, then it's not too late. I'd argue that it's way too early, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and more importantly, consider the kids' happiness, too. Yeah, the subtext there is don't reproduce ever, OP. Work on yourself a lot more first. OP says, uh, That is a novel thought. I just sent that to Aiko. <laughs> Uh, yeah, surely she'll think that you're the one coming up with that thought. Despite the fact that you tried to shoot a sneaky one in her. Random poster says, So, you did it with Aiko? And she had her V-card? OP, she said it was her first time, weird emoji. Reading through all this, I've been interested in OP himself. What kind of environment did your family raise you in? If we know that... We might know OP's personality better, in order to give him better advice, you see. That is what I really want, to unpack this whole thing, but I don't think we're gonna get the satisfaction. OP, I think it was a pretty ordinary family. I guess my mom was extra nice to me, weird emoji. See, look at you, you never interacted with any woman aside from your mother. Maybe now I see where we went wrong. Random poster, what did you write in that letter to Denko? Wasn't dating Aiko supposed to be a secret? And if Aiko said she wanted to be pure until marriage, was she really planning to marry OP? Well, once Denko learns the situation with Aiko, she's gonna be jealous for sure, since he put out 700,000 yen for her. Then her love for him will truly come out. <laughs> uh, we're holding on to hope. I'm just glad Denko's out of the crosshairs, honestly. OP, I talked with Denko in private about dating Aiko. I'm still a little in love with Denko like I thought I might be. I might be happy in a way if she got jealous, weird emoji. Please, please no more. <laughs> Ran the poster. If you spent 350,000 of the 700,000 yen for Boom Boom, what was the rest of it for? OP. Uh, buying information, mostly. Weird emoji. Information is valuable. <laughs> uh, Random poster says, Just make sure to keep enough around for pregnancy, and birth, and child raising. OP, <laughs> well, I'll do my best. Weird emoji. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Random poster. So, OP has rich parents, huh? And his mother was nice, but what about his father? Also, his brother said he didn't want to get involved with him. How'd it come to that? Did something happen? OP. Uh, we had a fight a long time ago, and I guess he's still mad about it. Weird emoji. Uh, my dad was usually at work, so I don't have much of an image of him. Weird emoji. Next poster asked the question on all of our lips. What was the fight about? OP. Eh, I don't really want to say, weird emoji. <laughs> uh, we're really getting down to the root of things, ain't we? Well, OP sure is something. If possible, can you tell us how things went in order to get to the uh, intimate parts? Uh, I want it for reference. <laughs> uh, you're, not, you're not fooling anyone. For reference. <laughs> OP, I guess the trick is appealing to how much you think about the girl, weird emoji. Huh, you said you sent her an email, but didn't she forbid OP from sending her emails? OP, well, she hasn't replied in four days, so <laughs> I was getting really worried, weird emoji. Yeah, she's flush with cash for now. Don't worry, she'll come back around when she needs something. This is the relationship that you built. Congratulations, indeed. Random poster says, But, like, what happened to the bullying at school? OP, I'm not going to school. I'm probably not going back for another month. Random poster says, You should go to school. I'm sure Aiko wants to see you at school, too. She's been too timid to email you for four days. You have to consider that Aiko wants to be with you more, OP. OP just says, so sleepy, weird emoji. I don't have the courage to go to school. All right, but what's up with Aiko now? I don't know. I don't get how girls think at all. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> Random and odds talk to each other. Aiko's a good girl, giving her V-card to OP. 
Except I doubt she's actually a virgin. Maybe he fell asleep, looking forward to the next conversation. Well, I guess I'll sleep too. Looking forward to the next thread. And then... And then... Nothing. The OP did not post again. The thread died, and unless people just stopped keeping a lookout for threads titled, Help! Weird Emoji! Nothing more was posted. We will never know what happened to the perhaps no longer stocked Denko, the potentially pregnant Aiko, or the very strange OP. The first thread was started on April 6, 2011, and the last post from OP was on May 2, 2011. However, the threads only came to my attention recently, likely because it had been nearly a year since people last heard about them. I think the comment near the end of the second thread says it pretty well. Even if the OP was a troll, it's scary that he could even make these things up. It's scary because, as some of us know firsthand, people like him do exist, even if they aren't all obvious about it online. Whether or not the OP was real only determines whether or not Denko was a real girl suffering from real stalking. There still can be, and still have been, countless others whom this really definitely does happen to. At any rate, this is the way the story ends. Not with a shank, but with a weird emoji. <laughs> uh, damn, dude. What a ride. And sort of the same thing I've been saying throughout the whole thing. Even if it's not real, it's real enough. And that is terrifying to me. OP, I hope you got better. Denko, I hope you finally won back your privacy. Aiko, I hope you're getting rich. <laughs> you getting mad? I'm getting rich. <laughs> I suppose we have to presume that it all turns out for the best. I really do hope that it all turned out for the best. But if you enjoyed this episode, friends, we got some more Dating Hell playlist on the end card for you. Don't forget to smash all them buttons. Always remember that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Go ahead and cut them open. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine.